Hello, 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 everybody. We are live once more. I am the mailman. You can just call me mail, and I do hope you're all having a good day, evening, morning, or night, wherever and whenever in the world you are. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome on in, everybody. Hello to the unit, and hello to the long. Welcome on in. Hi. Hello. Guten Tag. And then I have no idea what the what German uh, unit is uh, waffling on about here. He's saying, uh, Long kann kein Duscht. Es ist hallo und guten Tag. And then Lom says, I don't think Lom said those exact words, but maybe, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't pick up on it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's, it was like a, a I can't read, you know, that could be what he said. Indeed. Uh, who knows? Dust East, uh, oh, apologies. Dust is is it kind? Is it just kind by itself? Dust is kind, uh, I can do this. Dust is kind in in Schludingung. Okay, hi, and then hello to the Kitsu. Um, no, there is listen, it's, it's the title, it's in the, the title there for a reason, god damn it. Liam, just go on Duolingo. <laughs> I don't need to learn German, unfortunately. I'd like to, but I don't need to, so I won't. Um, yes, if you read the title, it says, I quote, Daddy Mayol, is that what you weirdos wanted me to say? And I'm a little, I'm a little angry about this, actually. I'm a little annoyed. You know what I learned today, guys? You're not allowed to use the word degenerates or degens in the title. It, it, uh, Twitch pops up with a little thing. This is, it might be against TOS. Fuck you, Twitch. If some people in my chat are degenerates, then they're fucking degenerates. I'ma call them out. I'ma say it how it is. Okay, degens, degens, degens. Uh, oh god, this is a lot. It's mail over. Skill issue for TOS. I'm not gonna read that out, kids. Who god fucking damn it. Degenerates. Degenerates a lot of you. But anyway, hello. We're back to uh, Dream Daddy. Daddy Dating Simulator. Whatever the hell. Um... Say my name when you pray. Say my name when you pray. Oh, Daddy May. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So we are. We are obviously pursuing Damien because Damien's cool. If we finish Damien, we might go and try and do Robert as well. Obviously, Robert. We are very interested in. But uh, right now, we just started the the second date with Damien. We went to go watch a movie. Anyway. The night finally rolls around where I'm supposed to meet with Damien. The next day, he'd left another beautifully crafted letter thanking for mine and agreeing to the event. Amanda helps him pick out a nice outfit, and I show up to the theater a little bit early. It's a chilly night, and the theater is kind of crowded, but it's still nice. How do you do? I jump at the sound of his voice and turn around to see Damien right behind me. Oh my god, look at this man's swag. Look at this goddamn cape. Capes are cool. Bring back capes. You almost gave me a heart attack. How long were you there for? <sighs> What the fuck was that? What? what was that sound? I don't know. I just walked up. I, I, I don't know. I just walked up. My apologies for frightening you. Was that thunder? Is it? Is it going to rain soon? I didn't hear anything. What? Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> hmm. Oh my. And what? Regardless, the hour grows close. <sighs> Shall we? Do what is that with his? Hmm. Hmm. He sounds like a goddamn village. J. Damien, the Minecraft villager. Hmm. 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 <laughs> what the fuck is this guy's fucking uh, voices, man? Um, degenerative brain disease. Uh, <laughs> that it. Um, isn't Damien Yoshi's sister? Is it? I don't know. Um. I wouldn't trust dark wave clubs, a man in a bomber jacket, jeans, a latex chicken mask, and a baseball bat might show up. Okay, I, I, I get the reference. I get the reference, though. Uh, there's more than one Damien in the world. Hmm, oh, hello, Yota Yoshi. Hmm, Naruto fanfics? True. That That's why Damien was so base. See, he'd already sold me with the whole golf stuff, and then they, they were referencing fucking um, Black Parade and all that. Um... And hello to the James as well. Welcome on in. They're referencing all that cool stuff, and then and then, and then we read his books, and his books are like, hello, hello, hello. And then they say, goddamn, yeah, the easy, he has a book about Naruto fanfic, which is fucking hilarious. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, left arm stretch, right arm stretch, outwards, inwards, neck to the left, neck to the right, neck backwards, neck forwards, and we have a nice, lovely tea as well. 
Thank you very much, sir. You're a gentleman oh. and a scholar. Thank you for the sub unit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got box on the head. I'm glad it works. Sometimes the box hasn't been working lately, I've noticed, when people do a gift sub. The box doesn't work. But it, it worked then, so I'm glad. Lucian is probably reading Berserk fanfic. No, he's probably writing Berserk fanfic, Lom. Uh, did you see uh, Category has released? Yeah, I saw you post about it. I've never seen that mod before, but it looks interesting. Uh, Cold War, right? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So speaking about Berserk, so I had a very interesting conversation with my, my friend earlier today and it involved like, our other friend and other friends on the Discord. Um, who is your favorite villain of all time? We couldn't really come up with any good answers. Um, uh, and this is all media, but we kind of did zone in on anime, to be fair. Um, and I was just trying to think of a lot of One Piece characters that I like. Um, Johan, I know, was on the list, Lom. Is that actually, is that recency bias, though? I've heard Johan is really good. I look forward to reading Monster, uh, to watching Monster, probably tomorrow I might start it, actually. In my free time, I'll probably be starting Monster, yeah, tomorrow before the stream. Um, or like, well, not before the stream, it's like... 6 p.m. my time. Yeah, she's usually when I have some free time to watch something, maybe. Um, but yeah, like, uh, we asked our friend, and he said some guy, Sato from, um, what, what is it? I don't know. Arjun, was it? No, it was something, anyway. I'm 100% sure the Lucian, uh, watches Monster or Berserk and says the villain is his idol. Uh, it's been in development of six years. Oh my lord, that's a long time. Also, what do you think of Japanese America? Very based. PSA has a lot of good fun paths. You can get Walt Disney in charge. You can get, um... Howard Hughes in charge, who's, uh, what's Mr. House is based off of. Johan is on top one. He is human and isn't a psycho or sociopath. Dude is an actual devil in a man's clothing. Fair enough, fair enough. Good choice. So, I couldn't think of any good answers. I was coming up with, like, um, you know, I liked a lot of One Piece villains, so I was saying, like, Doffy, or my friend was saying Kaido. Like, these, we're just trying to come up with some answers. We're not saying it's our favorite, but, you know, we're coming up with answers. Um... Also, I did say thank you to the unit for the gifted sub, right? So thank you again. Yoshi got a very bad way of receiving a gifted to Yoshi. Um, uh, uh, I like Crocodile from One Piece. And I was thinking, like, we have a friend who... who it's an ironic thing, but he's the kind of guy that likes, like, Yagami. He likes Walter White. So we, we, he'd probably say... He'd probably say that L is the villain. <laughs> L is the villain. Uh, Lelouch! I don't think he's the villain. I think Lelouch is a good main character who has a bit of a dark side, but I don't think... Resistant Bite is a really good fucking song, by the way. That's one of my favorite, um... It's one of my favorite sabatons, hands down. Resistant Bite, Gura did a cover of it, uh, Gal Gura, whole life, so... Listen to her, she's a way better singer than me. Johan is conscious of every action he does. Also, they're in Australia. Of course, they are in Australia, James. You make everybody own Australia. Also, Joseph, uh, Seed in Far Cry 5 is good. Okay, okay. That's a good answer. I'm glad someone picked a video game and not an anime or something. I'd be happy to say Walter White. It's weird to say a main character is a villain, but I think if they are the anti-main anti, anti -main character, anti-protagonist, uh, not, but not antagonist, but you know what I mean? 120 stream streak. That's 30, 60, 90. That's four months. You've been on a streak for four months, James. Some, I don't think in the past four months I've done many streams where I had a break for a couple hours and then did a second stream. I don't think I've done that. So you've been, yeah, James has a four month streak. Fuck that. <laughs> you can see a theme here, human villains by human. I mean that they could be people and you, you see on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walter White is a villain 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a main character can be a villain, right? The main protagonist can be a villain. Light Yagami is a villain or ends up being a villain. I feel less so about Lelouch because I feel like Lelouch genuinely had a good, like wh what he was achieving was technically a good thing. What he was attempting to achieve. Not like what Walter White was doing. Not like what um, Light Yagami was doing. You know what I mean? Goal is 200 watch streak. I could literally just make you break it instantly if I just streamed during, like, midday for me. But then you'll... And if you mess it up, I'm gonna beat you a bat. James, you'll beat me up with a bat no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. I achieve nothing either way. Punisher is a villain and I don't care what anyone says. I like the Punisher, but each to their own lawn. Fair enough. Um, anyway, I brought this up because we were, like, looking up, like, top villain, anime villain lists. And Griffith, and I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Griffith's my number one, I think, personally. And I'm not even read all of Berserk. Griffith, I, I, I would say number one. Um, I can't think of any other really good villains that stand out to me. Like, nothing from Naruto. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and be like, M, Madara, Obito, Pain, fuck off. I'm not, I like Naruto. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and defend a Naruto villain. Um, 
Though they are all well written, I'm just not going to say they're the best villain of all time, but I definitely don't think so. Um, and then, unironically, I kept thinking about it, and I feel like society is a viable answer to most pieces of media. Like, like the government. One piece, the government. <laughs> the world government. A any, any story could you, like, you could say the society. And then I think my friend was like, oh, Joker moment. I'm like, oh, Joker! Joker's a number one good villain, you could say, depending on the piece of media. Griffith is on the podium, place three. I'm still waiting for place two. Maybe Vinland Saga will get the spot. I saw a lot of lists say Askeladd, and I... I think Askeladd is a villainous persona. Um, are you not up to? Are you up to that in Villain Saga yet, Lom? Have you have you met Askeladd? I think you would have met him if you were at least three, four episodes in. You should have met him by now. But even then, I don't think he's a villain. Askeladd, I want to punch him. Correct, correct reaction, correct reaction. Are you gonna watch the Suicide Squad anime? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think so. I'm at the death of someone important. Okay, I know. Yeah, episode three. Yeah. I know, I know. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You know, you're way past episode three then, if that's not who you meant. <laughs> June 27th, it's out. Also, Tsukime remake is out June 27th. Also, the um episode 16. Oh, wow. You're well into... I don't know what death that is then. Arg, arg, no, are you... I think I know maybe who you're talking about. And the Steam Summer Sale? Yes, I was going to say that as one as well, James. That's, yeah, June 27th. A lot of things coming out 27th. Um, is it is it drugged up? I don't know if it's spoilers. Oh, the Princess Father figure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I should, I should keep my mouth shut. I should keep my mouth shut and be careful when I say them. Cool, okay. But yeah, you only have eight episodes left, Lom, which is really good because uh, I think season one is very good. Um, does Gambino count as a villain? He's there for like no, because then we got because this is berserk a uh, berserk. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you'd save some money if you sent me, like, a hundred bits. I could play the whole song on stream. <laughs> if you sent me 80 bits more, you get three minutes instead of five seconds. Think about it. You get more. You get more if you pay more. <laughs> um, so explain the pin comment. Wait, who did the pin? Oh, I, Yoshi did that. I, I don't know. It's a bunch of you weirdo degenerates in chat. Um... Count as a villain. So I know Berserkle Jerk, uh, it's a, it's it's like Circle Jerk, but it's Berserk, Berserkle Jerk. They do the thing um uh where like they have a bunch of memes about Donovan. Like you could say Donovan the villain. I mean, sure, he fucking sets up guts to be the way he is, but Unit is a villain, yeah, seems accurate. I don't think Unit is a villain. Oh, because of the song, yeah. You're a degenerate male, fight me. I'm not a degenerate. Oh, by the way, why why do you never read my comment? Cause I don't, I don't tolerate uh, gen degenerates. All of us are degens. Okay, that's fair. I believe it. Call us weirdo and degenerate all you want. We are who we are. Sure. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. And be proud. Be loud and proud of who you are. Fair enough. I agree. Anyway, shall we take our seats in the cinema? I must thank you again for purchasing our tickets. Please allow me to repay the deed in Sour Patch Kids or perhaps Milk Duds. Uh, so we don't have those here in Australia. Those are American brand candies. Um, Milk Duds I would prefer more than Sour Patch Kids because I always just kind of prefer more of a chocolatey uh, confectionery item than a, um, like a lolly. Don't, hey, yo, guys, please be careful. Guys, hold, put your pitchforks down. Put your picks, pitchforks down. L-O-L-L-I-E-S. 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 Candy in Australia we call it lollies. Do add the add the L the extra L and add the E, please. <laughs> Calm down, okay. Um, I, I've never really liked like can like a uh, chewy lolly candy. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I always prefer like chocolate and and stuff like that. I will say my number one though. Um, I don't care that it's a cinema. All you weirdos who like popcorn, go go ahead. Fine, take the popcorn. I don't mind popcorn, but I've never popcorn. I never want. I never really like really want it um i like chips i just i just like you know potato chips i think it's simple and it's good it gets the job done potato chips the best snack for watching a movie in my opinion a little loud but uh, whatever who cares 
Um, and then nice size coffee. That's that's my favorite thing to get at a movie, uh, at a movie cinema. Um, and then and then and then other than that, we have M and M's. You can just get chocolate, like you know, uh, yeah. Um, that's that's what I think is good. I don't yeah I don't care about self batch kids. I don't uh, yeah I just yeah not for me. Let's do it. We get in line to buy in snacks. As we're waiting, I hear a familiar voice behind us. Ugh, my dad's here. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. That's 12 bucks, unit. Oh no, is this stream a non- Oh no, is this a- Oh god, Yoshi's gonna fucking- Yoshi had to wake up for this stream, unit. You know that? She had to wake up for this stream. Does that mean I need to like- I need to- I need to stop this. I need to- I need to not- I need to watch a video instead. Unit did pay a lot of money, so okay. Let me finish this scene first, unit. Let me finish date two with Damien. It's music, okay. You did a lot of money though. That's why I'm worried. I like. Do you want me to watch it? You want me to play Sabaton in the background while I'm playing this game? Play the music. Best playlist. I don't know if I can play this music with this visual novel though. I don't. I, I would rather just sit here and, and, okay. Okay. I mean, it fits for Damien and Lucian. I mean, I guess it does. I'm fine with it. I'm a big Sabaton fan. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't, oh, I'm going to be dead by, for a while, by the way. Play the game, Liam. I woke up for this. I know you're she, but also $12 is $12. <laughs> um, I'm dead for a long time, by the way. Just saying. I'm currently having 12,000 items being thrown at my fucking dead rotting corpse. Shoots mail, play the game. Well, you guys have to hear this music because Unit did the monies. Um, what else did I miss? Um, uh, you read it when someone else says it? I do not try to read those, those bizarre comments. I'd prefer to be called crime against nature, but okay. <laughs> Why do you hate me? I do not hate anyone in chat. I hate anyone saying daddy. He hates foxes. Remember, that's also true. The favoritism. Hey, it's not favoritism. It's anti-favoritism. It's easy to accept our nature to, nature to feel intense pain for a small amount of time. Then not accepting your nature to feel pain every day of your life. Base. Well, embrace the cringe. I believe it. Uh, is there any not too sweet dessert? Um, milk duds, I'd say. Is like a milky vanilla -y flavor. Like it's kind of, you know, you know, normal tones. Also, yes, thank you for all the fucking money unit. Holy crap, was that a lot of money, by the way. Oh, damn it, I'd rather watch game. It's music, play the music. I'm doing it. Um, shoot some mail. I'm, listen, $12, $12, damn, imagine what mail would do. $20, that is the meme, mom, that, yeah. He would confess that he got hidden wifey pillars. I do not have... Fuck this, no, you know what? No, no, no. Um, I can do this. Where, where do I I'm back. Hello, how we doing? Okay. Dude, you good? No. Um. Dude, you good? Wait, me? Because I died? No, I didn't die. I'm fine. I'm Hello, I'm here. Um. Let's do... Why did I put it? What the fuck? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, cool. So let's close this. Bam. Okay. I got stuff to do, I watched the VOD- Wait, what? But the music! You did all the music, unit! What is this? What is this nonsense? Anyway, I think I cleaned up. My room's all messy, it's fine, it's whatever, we'll be okay. Um, 
is the thing? Is it not here? What the hell is this nonsense? Okay, also BGM turn off. Too many musics. Oh god, I'm not ready for for being looking like a normal person. That's fine. Um That's okay. Eh. Eh. Hi, how are we doing? Hello, hi. Now, this is common facts. I'm telling you guys right now, this is common facts. Everybody already knows this. Everybody already knows- I hate this. This needs to be flipped. I don't like it not flipped like this. But it doesn't look good when it's not flipped. Anyway, my room is fine. It's like, there's literally nothing here. I don't have anime waifu pillows. I literally do not. I don't have anime waifu pillows. It's just, just literally not true. I hate this camera angle. It looks like I'm fucking side -like. like, my eyes are side, like, tilted. It's weird. It looks like I have, like, an eye problem. But I don't have an eye problem. Look, I do not have an eye problem. But the lighting, the glasses, it makes it look like I have an eye problem. I don't have an eye problem. It's just weird, okay? Anyway. I don't have anime waifu pillows, okay? I have these things. These are my VTuber merch. Um, and these are just the plushies of Hololive. And these are not anime waifu pillows. These are, these are regular VTuber pillows, okay? So... Yes, and I have like one, two, three, four, five. I have six one. There was one I couldn't get. It's in the in the closet, but I couldn't get it, so it's fine. Even worse? What do you mean even worse? This is unfair. This is unfair. I want to just put the uh, waifu pillow allegations to bed, to rest. Okay, it's not real. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Okay. Anyway, camera is going now. Camera. Also, I hid chat. Sorry. I apologize. Chat died for a second. Like I made you guys disappear. Okay. See, it looks good though. It looks good! Chat! There's chat right there! I found it! I know how the mirrors work! Anyway, goodbye. Um, okay. Delete that. Well, actually, no, don't, don't delete it. Just deactivate it, I guess. Deactivate it. Cool. Do, 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 do. Yes, my model's dead. Don't worry. He's coming back. Um, okay, so what are we quickly reading in chat? I think Unit's leaving. But if Unit's leaving, then I'll play your music another stream, Unit, if you'd like. Is she gonna sprint over the seas to bonk Liam because he didn't play game? True, 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 huh? You- what? Okay, uh, gotta go. I'll watch board later. Play the music on other stream? Okay, okay, cool. Well, I'll bookmark it then for you, Unit. No worries. Six minutes in. Well, yeah, we'll just watch the whole thing. We'll, we'll, you know what? Like, next time I do a Hoi 4 stream, unit, when unit pops in, then we can, um, then we can do it. Because that makes more sense. Like, a Hoi 4 stream, Sabaton is obviously pretty good. I'm getting the model back up, guys. Don't worry. Hi, I'm going to be, like, looking at you like a crazy, scary weirdo. Hello. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. So, just remember, I owe, I owe unit, I owe unit, uh, the VOD. Um, did the bookmark save of it? It did. Cool. Okay. Hi. Hello. I'm back now. Also, thank you again for the other 30 bits as well, the uh, the big emote. You can do like a big emote in chat or something, I think. I, I don't know. I barely saw it. I don't know how the- yeah, it's massive in chat. What the fuck? Crazy. Okay. Hello. Anyway, chat. Um... Uh... No, so no waifu pillows. Do we agree? There's no waifu pillows. My accepting also mean repent, but you do you literally or metaphorically. You can choose the meaning yourself. Worth it. Has hiding them, it sound like. He's hiding. I'm not hiding them. I showed you that I'm not hiding them. If Liam goes, Suspad is under desk. Oh, no, I'm not leaving. I just I got stuff to do. Um, it, was, Did Lom think I died because I just disappeared for 10 seconds? <laughs> I'll watch the what No, okay. Uh, We will accept you having a body pillow if it's Celeste. <laughs> I usually she gets to have a, yeah, bonk, bonk mail. That's all good. Okay. Uh, you still need new glasses? I don't need new glasses. What? That's not fair. Um, show the whole room. Listen, I don't need to show the whole room. The whole room's, it's just me. It's my bed's not made. Um, James Toaster is for doing toasts. Nor does Rocket in RPG. <laughs> no, it's like the, uh, that's a gay, that's a, we also, I think you get for the other 20 bits uh, for the message effect unit. That's a weapon in Fallout. It's um the rock. What's it called? I think it's called a rock dash it launcher. Is that what it's called? Or the junk launcher? The junk launcher. It like shoots junk. It can shoot a toaster. I'm disappointed you didn't have a celeb body pillow, man. I don't want a full body pillow. Body pillows are weird. I like the the because I you just use these for, like cushions or pillows. My VTuber ones. Junk jet. That's the one. Thank you, Lom. I say you got them hidden in the closet. The only things I have hidden in my closet is my sexual is my. Is old clothes, 
And there was I didn't hide it, but I had there was one VTuber plush that I didn't get out. Um yeah, it's just old clothes. Like old clothes and like my suit my suit from like the wedding from like four years ago. It's probably too big for me now, actually. Um and like ties and stuff. That's that's what's in the closet. And and like I my that's in the closet closet, but in the regular closet is just my actual normal clothes I wear every day. Are you against Jolly Co cooperation with Sunbro? No, of course not. I love Soler, but I just yeah. I don't I don't know. What the fuck are these pins? There's so many weird pins. What the fuck? Anyway, we have a game to play. My apologies. Uh, I just wanted to put the waifu pillow allegations to rest. I turned around to find Lucian standing a few feet behind us with a gaggle of other goth- A gaggle of goth kids. Oh. Lucian, how nice to see you. I didn't know you were coming to the theatre. I'm glad to see you spending some quality time with your friends. Whatever, Dad. And what movie will you be attending tonight? My friends are making me see some kids' movie about talking animals. I don't really care about it. Oh. Well, I do hope you enjoy your evening. We'll be watching Vampire Crusade 2, Evil Never Dies. I... You? Watching that? Yeah, I thought Damien would enjoy it. Huh. Ha! Good luck with that, Dad. Lucian rejoins, rejoins his friends, and I look over to Damien. Good luck with what? It's nothing. My son loves to tease. Oh, is he not good with horror? Like, actual horror? That'd be funny. We wait in line for a little longer, and Damien buys us snacks. He seems a little nervous. I wonder what's wrong. He's not gonna like gore and horror, which is gonna be so funny. It's gonna be a little cute that he's like this gothic Victorian era, <laughs> you know, but then he doesn't like gore horror. I like that. That's actually really funny. <laughs> um, That doesn't say anything. What doesn't say anything? That I don't have anime waifu pillows. Soler is a pickle. He needs money to escape. Um, Oh, he's in a pickle. <laughs> okay, that's a two very different statements. <laughs> being a pickle and be being in a pickle. <laughs> Um, he's wanting to escape Isolith and, uh, find his son. To give him money, you need to read the three numbers on the back of the credit card your parents own. This is where the true Dark Souls dating... Subso Did I leave my card out? Yeah, there's no way you guys could have seen the number. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. So don't go back and analyze that footage. <laughs> well, no, you, they, you can only ever see the numbers on one side of the card. You can't see the other numbers, so it's all good. It doesn't particularly matter that much. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, Damien and I take our seats and settle in for previews. Glancing at him, I can see that he's sweating profusely and gripping his armrest. Um, I hope he's okay, man. Like, I hope there's nothing wrong with him. Um, buddy, are you, is everything okay? I hope you're fine, dude. Everything is perfectly fine. In fact, you just gave me an erection. <clears throat> Damien, what, I just asked you if you were okay. Why is, like, are you bursting at the seams of love towards me? This is, it's so extreme. So sudden and extreme, buddy boy. I'm so uh, excited <laughs> for this film. Yeah, I could see that you were excited. I'm a devoted patron of the arts, especially the scary arts. The scarier the art, the better. Do you have a favorite horror movie? I, uh, of course, I have a favorite horror movie. Mine is uh, Halloween Town. Terrifying. Oh, interesting. That's odd. I don't seem to remember Halloween Town being that scary. I would have expected him to bring up some sort of strange foreign horror film that I'd never heard of. Damien's knuckles are turning white. It looks like he's about to rip the armrest off. Wait a second. Damien, are you afraid of horror movies? What? You must be joking. I love horror movies. Oh no. The lights dim for the film. Ah! <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> what was that fucking sound, man? <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Bro, it sounds like a fucking geese. What the fuck is this? Oh, my God. Damien, <laughs> I can understand being romantically interested in vampires of the Victorian era, but calm down, man. <laughs> Lol, that was such a weird sound. Can I replay it? Does it... No, it doesn't have, like, a text thing. I don't think. I apologize. I was thinking about something far scarier than this movie, which is not scary at all. <laughs> Uh, we settle in as the film starts. I offer Damien some uh, licorice, and he, he takes one. I take note of how much his hands are shaking. Ah! Whoa, uh, wow! <laughs> the little flashes across the screen in bloody letters. Vampire Crusade 2 Evil Never Dies. A pale man with long silver hair, glittering red eyes, and well-oiled abs sits up in a coffin. That's just Griffith! That's just fucking Griffith! That's literally gr a pale man with long silver hair, glittering red eyes, and well-oiled abs sits up in a coffin. That's fucking Griffith. That's the exact description of Griffith. <laughs> Griffith is a vampire. I mean, basically. Remless bad blood. Awaken my cabin. 
two more vampires slide the tops of their stone coffins onto the floor. Brother, is it time? Carmela, yes, husband, but also, mortal enemy, it is time. The three look at each other and then to the camera. For the Vampire Crusade. This rules. <laughs> the trio of vampires flies off into the night as foreboding organ, organ music plays in the distance. I somehow get lost in the movie. As dumb as it sounds, it's actually a pretty fun <laughs> flick. <laughs> we get to a tense moment of the movie where Romulus Trueblood sits at a truce meeting with a general of the human army whose wife Romulus has fallen in love with. Romulus, it is good to finally meet you. I am human general number one. General, I agree. It's good to finally blood you. <laughs> what? Romulus leaps out and slashes the general's throat. Blood, <laughs> bloody what the? Blood splatters over everything, including the camera. <gasps> Dam <laughs> Damien screams again, reflexively grasping my hand. Aww. I immediately blush, forgetting about my any about any vampires or blood or vampiric blood. <sighs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Damien retracts his hand and places it back in his lap. Oh. I was writing a novel in my head about blood magic, and I got to an extremely scary section. Damien goes back to quietly stressing out over the movie. It's kind of cute that he won't admit that he's afraid of it. Dot, dot, dot. I wish he would hold my hand again. Whoa, whoa, okay. That, wow, we really are escalating. Okay, I, I just thought we were bros. I thought we were homies. What the fuck is this now? Maybe I could do something to try and make him feel more comfortable. I've got it. I'll do what all dads do best. Talk during the movie. Tell a dad joke. Point out a plot hole or ask what's happening. I wonder if he'd like a plot hole. I think the dad joke makes the most sense though, right? Um, wait, they are brothers? The fuck? No, 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 no. I think one of them was his wife. One of them was his brother. One of them was his wife. Was the, was the two difference there. Uh, tell a dad joke. But I love dad jokes. Where does a dog go when it loses its tail? What? Where? To the retail store! <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> Let's look at this funny... Oh. I yelled that last bit a little too loud for a crowded movie theater, but I can see a smile form on Damien's face. <laughs> Good one, male. The rest of the movie goes by relatively smoothly, smoothly, with only a few whimpers from Damien. Yes, I love when he whimpers. Maybe he would have liked the romantic comedy better. We get to the final scene of the movie where Romulus, Bad Blood, and the General's Wife embrace each other in his crypt. It appears that the true vampire crusade was the vampire crusade in our hearts, our cold, unbreaking hearts. <laughs> It was the friends we made along the way. Romulus and the general's wife began making out. Hard. Oh my. The film fades to black and the end appears on the screen, but then it uh, hard cuts to Demetrius and his rival lover, Camilla, who watched the two from afar. Huh. Oh no, twist ending. Our bloodline has been pure for a thousand years. Romulus has betrayed us by loving a human woman. It will only be a short time before the next Vampire Crusade 3. Evil must die again. <laughs> if a movie actually fucking ended by just, just ha saying the title of the sequel, that'd be fucking badass. That'd be so hype. <laughs> the number three. It's time for number three. That is so funny. That's crazy. Why did Lum go, um, um, what's the um for, though? What the, what the, um, um, <laughs> what is the um for, dude? What were you umming and umming about? What, what do you think is weird? There's a lot of weird stuff happening with this goddamn movie. That's what I'll say. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like... Okay, no, this, there is sound for the game. It's just really quiet right now. This movie was awful, man. Yes, correct. That is that is definitely correct. More thunder, more ominous organs. The movie fades out again. A bloody question mark now accompanies the end. Damien and I walk out of the movie theater amidst throngs of chattering moviegoers. He's a little more pale than I remember, and he's pretty pale as it is. But otherwise, he survived the encounter. He even seems kind of invigorated. Huh. What an interesting film. While the premise admittedly struck me as a pedestrian. What? I was intrigued by its harrowing love story and great attention to detail in regards to vampiric lore. 
Yeah, it was pretty good. A lot more vampire titties than I thought there would be. Hmm. Come, the night is young. Let's take a stroll. Ah. Damon is making a point of not telling me where he's taking me. Still, I'm enjoying the walk in the cool night air. Being alone here with Damien is a lot better than being in a crowded theater. Lovely night, isn't it? Oh. As lovely as the company. Yes. Whoa, hey, look at this. Look at this Riz. Look at this Riz over here. Dot, dot, dot. He thinks I'm lovely. Oh, damn. Okay. He comes to smooth response. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, that's the fucking worst. How much did we pay, by the way, uh, Damien? Come, I say no more. Um, I don't know how much the movie was for. Well, uh, this was back in like what, twenty sixteen? Was this game? I can't. Let me check quickly. Twenty bucks. Twenty. Twenty seventeen. July twenty seventeen. How much money would that be then? Like um. <sighs> I want to say like 18 American, maybe. No, 15 American? 15 American dollars? Is my guess. Nowadays it's like. Nowadays it's like 25, 30 Australian. So. More like, more like 20 American nowadays. Is, is my guess anyway. Movie prices are typically the same price, regardless of the movie. Anyway. Um, cool. No, we'll go thanks. He loves it. No problem. Crushed it. <laughs> we both stand there feeling a little awkward. I sure am one smooth operator. Are you getting a little hungry? We could maybe stop off and get something to eat. Uh -huh. Worry not, friend. I have a plan. We turn the corner and are greeted by the gates of a cemetery. Oh my god, Damien, really? What? Are we going in there? Mm. A little bit of Victorian flavor mail? Trust me. Mm. I'm a bit nervous, but Damien hasn't led me wrong yet. Okay. I follow his lead as we walk into the cemetery. Statues of angels stare down at us as we follow a path through the faded tombstones. As we crest a small hill, we get a beautiful view of the city. The night lights spark around us. I gotta hand it to him for being in a cemetery. This is strangely romantic. Okay, remember guys, take your dates out to cemeteries. They'll love it. They'll absolutely love it. It's so romantic. It's the graveyard day. See, look, Kitsu's a woman and she loves graveyards, apparently. What is this? E everybody loves graveyards. Remember, guys, take take your women out to a graveyard. It's it's romantic. <laughs> huh. Picnicking, in, picnicking in graveyards is an old Victorian tradition. An appropriate finish to an evening after a vampire movie, wouldn't you say? With a flourish, Damien produces a blanket and a picnic basket. Where did you hide that? We watched a whole movie together. Wait, where were you hiding that? The thank you. Um, dot, dot, dot? Hmm. Under my cloak? Oh, right. Damien unfolds a blanket and we both sit down, gazing out of the city lights. He produces a bottle of red wine and a fine selection of cheeses. Okay, I normally don't want to drink, but you know what? Red wine and cheese? Fuck it, I'll take it. Wine, I feel like I can enjoy on like a intellectual level. But but any alcohol drinking where it's just a drink, no, that's cringe. But fine wine, I could I could enjoy like the taste and and like craft of it. I think you know what I mean. I mean, it is my dream date location. I'd propose if someone took me to the graveyard. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Again, going back to whole. Everybody in my chat is a degenerate. Uh, fine selection of cheeses. In the Victorian era, there were no public art galleries, parks, or botanical gardens to speak of. Once rural graveyards became a popular alternative to church burials, they became the only place that people could see beautiful plant life and fine sculptures. That makes sense. This is pretty nice. I have a question, though. How are you so okay with being in a graveyard, but you had trouble handling a scary movie? What? I... I... I wasn't... He sighs deeply. Okay, yes, I was extremely scared by that movie. I was not writing a book about blood magic in my head. I just... I've never been good at those. I just feel as if, because of how I look and act, people expect me to love horror films, so I must play the part. Truth be told, I don't know if I have the constitution for them at times. Are you a D&D &D fan? You just, just, you know, do a better build. I have constitutions. Just that. Bump it up, buddy. Damien, I'm so sorry. If I had known, I would have suggested another movie. That's the, yeah, good point. It's quite all right. I actually did find myself enjoying this one, thanks to your help. Oh. Graveyards, however, I think that's something rather beautiful about death. 
cemeteries are traditionally built away from cities, away from the realm of the living, and it keeps us rather separated from it. To acknowledge death and become comfortable with it, I think, gives us a certain intimate knowledge of ourselves. To sit amongst generations of those who came before us, to be truly alive in the midst of so much death, brings me great comfort. That's... I... That's... Okay. Bro's actually selling to me on it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, for me, I think it's like more of the idea of basking in like history and, and, and so many people have come before you, right? Not necessarily the idea that you're alive and they are dead. But, but it's just like the idea that, you know, all of these were people. They all lived separate lives over, you know, possibly hundreds of years. And it's like, what, what did they do in their life, you know? Everybody's got a story to tell. Oh. Death helps me appreciate life to save it every second. We sit and enjoy our food and wine. I don't feel scared anymore. Never thought I'd be comfortable sitting alone in graveyard at night, but I actually feel very peaceful. Suddenly, it doesn't seem like we're alone. Off in the distance, I see a shadowy figure in the tree. It's gonna be his son. What is that? Ugh. I'm not sure. Wow! I fucking what is up with Damien's sounds, man? Wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, um, how does that make me degenerate? I'm just. It's just not. Listen, it's just peculiar. Where am I supposed to find a vampire GF slash twink BF? A church? Yeah, maybe. I have a point. How the fuck am I finding the Victorian dad relatable? That's the charm of gravy. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess. It is certainly not normal. It is not, it is not, um, commonly socially acceptable to, to enjoy the company of, uh, the location of graveyards. <laughs> I don't think, anyway. Uh, it noticed us. I'm paralyzed with fear as it begins lumbering slowly towards us. It's shape taking a more animal form, more feral. I look to Damien for help, but he's just as frayed and transfixed as I am. I want to scream, but it's stuck in my throat. The creature is getting closer, moving faster. <gasps> it's just a dog. Woof. Oh, it's a dog. As it finally. <laughs> Dumb little guy. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> As it finally comes into the light, the, the friendliest, dumbest little Boston Terrier I've ever seen pulls its owner towards us. The dog trots over to Damien and sniffs at his hands. Damien looks ecstatic. He ruffles the dog's fur happily. Aw. Huh. What a beautiful dog. Hey. We both look up, not expecting to see. Is it going to be Robert? What? Okay. Listen. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't think we'd just get to see another dad in a date. What the fuck? This is the, this is the, the the this is my two favorite characters on the screen right now. What the fuck? That that escalated quickly. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, the fuck is Lucian doing? Um, I thought it was Lucy and TBH. Love triangle. What a twist. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, hey, Bobby. What are you doing? Hmm. Robert. What are you doing out here on this lovely evening? Uh. Hunting cryptids. Oh my fucking god. I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm gonna uh, fucking. Okay, so Lom, you weren't here last night, but we finished Disco Elysium. We finished Disco Elysium, Lom. Um, the Insulindian Phasmid was real. They actually ended the game on the Insulindian Phasmid. The Insulindian Phasmid uh, propaganda was was so was so brutal and real. It's it was fucking real. They, it was like the big climax of the of the story. Well, like right before the story, the final scene anyway. It fucking shows up. I'm fucking euphoric. I was as well. And it's it's didn't look anything like what you thought it was. It was big. It was like as big as a car, like a like a house kind of. And it just was re a really big stick bug. And it went through the reeds. And we didn't get a picture, though, unfortunately. I was one point off of passing the check. But we didn't get a photo of it. But but uh, Kim took took almost like a like a, like a a Nessie photo of it. And Kim saw it as well. He backed me up. And then and then I did a good enough job. And the police force, they, they liked me again. And they let me back in. Like, my partner, Jean, was there. And he let me in the car. And Kim actually, I asked Kim, hey, do you want to join the my precinct? And he said, oh, why not? And he got in the car with us, and it was really wholesome. Wait, the lizard man was an insulidian fastman? <laughs> but yeah, I, I cryptids. Every fucking game I'm playing as cryptids right now. I swear to God, man. Hunting cryptids. Huh. What? Huh. What? Hmm. I didn't know you had a dog. Oh. This isn't my dog. Mm -hmm. I found her wandering in the street. I put a leash on her, and now we're walking around this graveyard together. Fair enough. Mm. Hunting cryptids. <laughs> Damien and I share a look. May I give her a treat? Mm. Sure, wouldn't give her cheese, though. Oh. 
Not to worry. Damien reaches into the depths of the cloak and produces a small dog tree. He just has infinite pockets. This is why I keep his bad ass. What else is he keeping in there? The dog laps off the tree and crunches away, tail wagging furiously. Damien looks to smooth down her fur. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh. My absolute pleasure. Damien shakes the dog's paw. Oh. Lovely to meet you, my friend. May our paths cross again. Robert and his, not, maybe not dog, disappear into the darkness again. Damien stares after them. I didn't know you liked dogs. Oh. Victorians loved dogs, actually. Most Victorian women of high fashion would always be accompanied by a small dog such as a terrier or a Maltese. I, uh, think big dogs are nice, too. Yeah, man, dogs are cool. I do believe we've had enough excitement for one night. What say we make our way home? Damien hops to his feet and extends a hand to help me up. I gladly take it as my knees aren't what they used to be. He packs up his picnic basket and leads us out of the graveyard. As we begin the walk home, I take one last look at the cemetery. It really is beautiful. Oh, Like a proper gentleman, Damien walks me to my doorstep. Thank you ever so kindly for your company tonight. Damien, it was my pleasure. Mail, if you will allow me, it would bring me great, great joy to offer you a token of my affection. Damien reaches into his cloak and pulls out a folded, monogrammed handkerchief. He presses it into my hand. Oh, just like how Kim gave us a handkerchief, too. Wow, thank you, Damien. Um, I will use this to dry my tears for those I've lost. That's a really, really bittersweet comment. I can't wait to sneeze on, on this. I'm going to wave this at passing ships. <laughs> Um, I'm not fighting Damien. This guy will pull out two handgun, handgun and guns saying, Jesus is now in heaven. Uh, wait, Jesus is now in heaven on him while, while smirking. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you were going to say the, um, a God can't do all the work <laughs> is what Damien would fucking say. Um, yeah, I guess I will use this, this, uh, this truly, uh, emotionally, uh, uh, this emotionally resident uh, handkerchief you have gifted to, you have bequeathed to me, uh, my good Sir Damien. I will use this to wipe the tears for those I have lost. I will remember and cherish for those dearly departed from this mortal plane. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing gets me more riled up than dead people, am I right, man? What the fucking Jesus? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you. Oh, Gmail. Yeah, it made sense on Gmail. I'm not surprised. Motherfucker is gonna be Alucard. <laughs> Gmail. Yeah, of course. Of course, fucking golf Gmail. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Damien shuffles his feet. I just want to say that it's rare to find someone like you, someone who's open to my. Eccentricities. I can't. Eccentric. Eccentric. Eccentricities. Yes. You're an eccentric man, Damien. Of course. That's why I like you. That's why I draw to you mostly. <laughs> it's uh, nice to feel so accepted. Um, Thank you. Oh, man. Damien's actually the best. Damien gives my hand a quick squeeze. Aw. Damien blushes and hastily retracts his hand. Uh, I must take my leave. Good night. Before I can say anything else, he's gone. Whoa, just like Batman, huh? I unlock the door and step inside. Like a whirlwind, Amanda runs from the window and plops down on the couch, trying to look nonchalant. Hey, Dad, what's up? Were you watching me from the window? No, I was just, um... Okay, yes, how was the movie? Lots of vampire titties. Told you. But, uh, as it turns out, Damien is scared... Wait, Amanda doesn't need to know that. I'll keep it between me and Damien. Sc scary looking. Yep, he's so cool, it's scary. Nice save, Mayo. Did you know that graveyards used to be a place to throw parties? I think I'm misremembering that. Wow, that's pretty punk. Also, we saw a dog. Definitely thought it was a werewolf for a minute, though. How can you be so sure it wasn't a werewolf? How can you be so sure I'm not a werewolf? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm furry male man here. I'm a werewolf. Rawr! Arr, woof, woof. I, no, I'm never doing that again. That's the cringiest thing I think I've ever done in my life. And how can I be so sure you're not a werewolf? Amanda's eyes narrow. I don't trust you, nor I you. <laughs> this, is, this is such a fucking father-daughter relationship. I love it. We make intense, wary eye contact for a second. Anyway, I'm calling it for the night. Don't stay up too late, will ya? I'll try not to howl at the moon past midnight. <laughs> oh, man. That was so good. And data completo.
cargo short food channel fang darkness horror rom com. I got I got six so many dad points. I got st. I got daddy points, and I got over a million moons. Have I had a date such as exquisite as this one? Okay, okay, Damien, calm down, buddy. There, put it back in your pants, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Um. What even is this score? You guys can't see. I'm probably blocking a little bit, but it's like fucking 980. It's 98 million. Like, what does this? What do these points even mean? These points mean nothing. They're just they're just numbers. They just mean nothing. It does make sense, kids. It does. Um, Lucian, are the rounds explosive or mercury? Dad, the bullets are bullets. They were killed no matter what. <laughs> um, it's B stars all over again. So true. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in after a few bites of ice cream from the freezer. I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep as I pass her room. I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is sad. Like, I'm actually, ironically enough, like, I would say that I'm most invested in Amanda as, like, just trying to grow up. Right? Like, I don't... I, I want her to just have a good life. Like, I... I yeah, this is sad. <laughs> like, she's probably the most interesting character, because I kind of just, like... You know, look at, like, The Last of Us God of War. Like, like father-child relationships. This is an interesting story. Hey, Amanda. The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> oh, In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed. Knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? Leave her alone? I obviously we're not going to leave her alone. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away. Something must have happened. Amanda, get out. Okay, okay. <laughs> I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Children, man. God damn it. They have a problem. They don't want you to fix the problem. Hey, come on. You gotta give a little. Wow. What is her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. Oh. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee based. Badass. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. About 10 minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a be beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes a still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up a bag and storms out. Oh, okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short lived, but always hurts. Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knee, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her ice cream and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I- wait, 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 sorry, can we- I wish you could, like, check the, um, the log. There's no log to check, which is weird, I don't like that. Does it take her ice cream or give her ice cream? I don't, I don't, I don't know what it said then. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse, but I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. Make her her favorite meal. I hear Amanda walk in the door instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does. She makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come over here for a second? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. Dot, dot, dot. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Yeah, me for real. Dad, I... So just, whatever it is, you you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. 
Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Hell yes. Ta-da! Dad? It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and... Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. That's based as hell. What the hell? <laughs> this is beautiful. It's strawberry. Amanda gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing, I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Oh, no. I guess I should start from the top. So, you know how Emma R is going to this fancy art school in California, right? Emma R? The one who puked in Dead Gov and Beyond? Uh, I, I don't think we even got that scene. The best friend? The other one. I'm assuming because it was a younger one. This is your best friend. The best friend. Hey. You got it. Wow, proud of you. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot of more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was Emma P, that's the other one. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. Why do you call your friends, like, their, their initials? Do you really have that many friends that you need to, like, differentiate, like, friends with the same name? Like, this can't be that common, right, guys? Also, I feel like there's not enough music as well. I don't like... Surely, no, there is music, it's just really, really quiet. Let's, I saved, I saved. I'm gonna just double check. Sorry to ruin the, yeah, I turned the music up a little bit. Yeah, I think it was just a bit too quiet, okay. All good. It can get really loud, though. No, no, quick, before the main menu starts doing the, the daddy song. Yeah, here we go, that's much better. She's spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M that both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me they were busy for the Calc AB final. Okay, now, th yeah, this is weird. This is sus. Why would your friends lie like that? Yikes. <sighs> so, another important piece of information is, uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa. I had no idea. <laughs> we definitely did what she did, yeah. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. <laughs> I learned from the worst. <laughs> anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was MRR, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the uh, party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I just keep quiet and keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. <sighs> And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy, like simultaneously. What the fuck? What did Amanda do? What the hell? So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos in my home, right? But we were out of chips, and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. So I go to the mall anyway, I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah. Jamil! Jamil is here! This is crazy. Ooh. The plot really is thickening here. Hello, Zephyrin. How you doing? Welcome on. Daddy Mail. God fucking damn. I swear. You guys. You guys. No Daddy Mail agenda. So, wow. They are assholes. Yeah, she has bad friends. Amanda, did you burn someone's house again? <laughs> That's why they don't like her. <laughs> um, All hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? Uh. It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R. Oh, no. You both like the same guy. Which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. Hmm. Yes, I know. So I storm over there. I'm like, hey. And Grace drops a nacho on a shirt because of course she does. And Emma R just, like, glares at me. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Wouldn't she just have been another friend? Your your title says Daddy Mail. Sorry. Yes, the Daddy Mail gym. <laughs> Listen, the, ch the, the the goddamn the title says it because you guys want it. That's that's all that is. I won't allow it. I'm just I'm just commenting on it existing. No, no, no. Daddy Mail model. There is no Daddy Mail model. I don't think I could make another model that would be any different to the ones I already have right now, I'll be honest. 
Isn't that just D Detective Man already? Isn't Detective Man Daddy Mail, technically? Grace, Grace, nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the, um, the boring one? The gossipy one. Did she poop the bed too? No, she's gonna be the gossipy one. <laughs> I know! Grace is the one nobody really likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say. But I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to this shitty day, and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat, uh, asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR, asking how long the Noah thing's been going on, and sorry, I know that's a lot, but are you still following? Yeah, we're good, I get it, your friend is a bunch of piece of shit. Well, MR is a piece of shit, I think she's, like, manipulated everybody behind the scenes, right? What did MR say? I'm a little confused, but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> um, commit to the bit, Dale. No, I can't do that, guy. there's no- I've- listen, I have done- at so many models, I'm telling you guys, there's only so many limited options. Like, we had, what, Homeless Man, which I kind of defunct. Homeless Man doesn't exist anymore. And we have Hotmail. Hotmail is, like, the closest. Hotmail and D-Man. It'd be one of them. It'd be one of the two. I could get some facial... Okay, you know what? Daddy Mail's happening. Okay, I'll do it. Finally out ads. Freedom? Sorry, Zephyr. Yeah, you came in at the hour. My bad. Hotmail with a beard. <laughs> oh, I missed a whole arc. What what arc? Homeless man finally got a home, so he left. Yes, he got a shirt. I just didn't like Homeless Man because all it was was just me with slightly longer hair and like a shitty black T top. We'll do Daddy Mail. Fuck it, I'll do it. I, I I can cook some ideas. I can cook some ideas. Just got here when mail accepting daddy status. Listen, I, I, I don't accept it, I but I am a man of the people. I will do what the people ask of me. For viewership, followers, and money, I will do anything. <laughs> I'll, do any, I'll do it all. Based off your character in the game, I can't make it look that similar, though. But I'll try my best. Um... Blonde John Wick or Kira with a beard. Yeah, <laughs> these are good ideas. Anyway, what did MRR say, Amanda? Oh, okay, get a load of this. MRR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text messages. Oh, God, this fucking drama is crazy, dude. Hmm. Can you believe that? What did she say? No, I need to know, Amanda. Me, the player, needs to know. I can believe that. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't believe it, Amanda. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be supportive. Mm -hmm. They were dating in secret for, like, months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay, and then she left me on red, and then... Wait, left me on red? What's that mean? <laughs> What's that? Oh, okay, like, she saw my message and didn't reply, and I know because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just gonna nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and he's like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? And it tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told us to the group chat, um, that I got kicked out of. Alright, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. Uh. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. This, this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. You've done nothing wrong here. What the hell? Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but uh. MRR, she's been there since mom died. I can't believe she would just... Stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. And then stabs at the remnants of a cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Hmm. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sorted take. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know it's pretty dumb. It's kinda dumb. It's not dumb. Um, 
it's not dumb. That, like, there's actually a serious problem when you're shit. Well, you're going to college, right? That's all that matters. And then you have new, better friends. Adult friends are cooler than childhood friends. <laughs> I can't really say that. All my friends I met when I was, like... Yeah, when I was a kid. Like, I have... Most of my main friends are from, like, when I was freaking 10 and 11. And then I made some friends when I was, like, 12. And then again, in like, when I was 16. So, all my friends are from when I was a kid. <laughs> Solution, be friends with Lucy and base take, base take along. He's a ride or die type of guy, so perfect friend. True, just, just, just have a romantic interest in Lucian instead. Fuck this Noah guy, he sounds cringe. <laughs> Super thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. <laughs> But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Not all friendships last forever. Real friends don't do that. Real real friends don't do that. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, yeah. When you get older, you start realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful friendships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to being their friend. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours, because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. That was a badass fucking badass take. <laughs> uh. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? Uh. Yes. Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes the door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. Oh. Me too, Dad. Aww. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. That was like... Welcome. You that was dad. infinitely way more interesting of a story than all the other guys. Hello, Barky. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Hey, hey, how you doing? Yes, I'm doing good. Monster trucks don't have to pay tax. Was so true, though. Trauma dumping and eating snacks. My favorite activity, TBH. Hell yeah. So anyway, let's go back to... Oh, God. Craig is sending me a bunch of messages. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. So I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner. And I know it's kind of a faux pas to invite another bro, but I've known the guy for years and I still can't get a good read on him and I know it's going to be super awkward if I go by myself. Will you please come with me? I love food. I especially love food that's free. And I don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. I really hope that's a sweat of relief. No, sorry. Thanks, Kai, but no. Hello, Amanda's dad. It's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. Oh, we already got this message before. He keep okay. Craig's really trying his hardest. Thank you, Craig. Thank you so much for trying. Damien, <laughs> message. Hey, you know what they say about third dates? They get pretty serious. You might not have time to browse dad book for a while. Are you ready? Oh, does that mean we have to? Does that mean we have to date everybody else first just to be safe? Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What does chat think? Chat, should we try some other people first, or should we should we lock it in with Damien? Me and my friends got into a new campaign that can be described as Comfy Apocalypse. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Damien Expansion. Kitsu just said yes. So I'm assuming to, like, trying another guy. Damien says James. Roberto says Lom. I think we have two Roberts and one Damien, because I think Kitsu said yes to trying out other guys. I'm not sure. Damien, that's two, that's two Damien's, two Roberts. Yes, yes, yes. Test the waters. Zephyrin says potato. That's, I don't think there's anyone called, oh, Brian is kind of a potato, right? Brian looks like a potato. So that's, that's, okay. Two Damien's, two Roberts. Or, th three Roberts. Go out with the other data. Okay, three Roberts, two Damien's. Bonk Zeph. Okay, let's let's try let's try Robert. I think Robert's the one I'm interested in the most. Like other than Damien, right? But Damien has won me over the most. He's the man that I want to date unless Robert is, is somehow wins, right? Robert's small. He don't look that small. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us 
all you know, it'll, uh, it'll use this information against us, right? Okay, he's a fucking conspiracy theorist. On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alley alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Giyamoko? I trusted Giyakomo. Giyakomo. What the fuck is it? Bro's a criminal? Bro's just a criminal, dad. Who's his child? If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Gun! Gun! A fucking gun! Okay. Oh my lord. What are your turns on? Don't talk to me. Wait, he's turned on if you... If you don't talk to him, okay. What do you want to do when you grow up? Grifter? What's your favorite movie genre? Italian neorealism. Whatever the fuck that is. What's your ideal day? Grave robbing! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, Robert. Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, was that what he was doing? Oh, God. Oh, no. Potato, so Brian, because he's Irish. Shoot Zev, that's the fruitiest sentence ever. So zesty. Give me out. If I have a chance to become a vampire, I'll take it. Based. Gun and ammo. Motherfucker is an illegal gun dealer in the black market. I was right. What are you what are you gonna do with a gun with no ammo? Finally, a good fucking candidate today. I can be gay, dramatic, and immortal. I'll take it. Wait, what was the fruitiest sentence ever? What were what were people saying to that? What was, what was the fruitiest sentence? I don't know what the fruity- what, what, just what Robert was saying. Also, sorry, I backed out from it. Like, this one? What- what is fruity? What is fruity? What is fruity? I don't know what fruity is, is what she's saying. What, what is going on here about fruit? Anyway. Um... Okay, so he's obviously had the dog there for a reason. What do you never leave home without? At least four knives. Can <laughs> go, okay. I spent a lot of time thinking about- you ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? Oh my god, bro. I don't know who has more edge. Well, this guy's got like biker thug criminal drug dealer edge. Whereas Damien's got gothic edge. My two favorite kind of edges. Okay, hello. Let's message Robert. Robert was pretty nice, a little odd, but nice, and ruggedly handsome. Wait, whoa, wait, come on, buddy. Uh, we should hang out, <laughs> because he's handsome. I tap out a message to him on dad book. Hey, Robert. Good seeing you again at the cookout. Again at the cookout? We didn't see him the first time. Want to grab a drink? We, we didn't see him at the cafe, I guess. I sit there for a couple seconds, hoping he'll message me back. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, it says that he read my message. I anxiously wait for a response. Twiddle my thumbs or watch cat videos on the internet, Lamau. <laughs> um, scroll down. Wait, what's what scroll down? What, what what are we scrolling down for? Um, dun, 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 dun. that Damien won you over. Also, Yukomo is an Italian name. He he loves Italian people. That's your man. You got to stick by him. He is my man, Kitsu, I do agree. Robert has drug dealer vibe, and Damien has elegant drug dealer vibe. Huh? Cavids? Oh, yeah. Too late. Okay, don't worry, all good. Anyway, um... That's cringe. I'd watch YouTube, so I mean, doing A activity is better than- No, I'm gonna twiddle my thumbs. Cause like, what if we miss his message? It's kind of enjoyable, look at those thumbs go! They sure are twiddling. I wonder if Robert has replied yet, he still has not responded. Twiddle my thumbs some more! Look at those thumbs go, they sure are twiddling. <laughs> I'm becoming an expert twiddler. <laughs> Fuck, my thumbs are tired. Fuck, my thumbs are tired. 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 Fuck, my thumbs are tired. Okay. We we'll watch cat videos on the internet. After all that twiddling, I basically forgot about Robert. I decided to start down a rabbit hole of cat vids. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. See, I knew we'd forget. I jump back over to Dadwood to see if he's responded yet. Oh, come on, Rob. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. I might as well make the best of my day. Huh. I get up, walk to the living room, then sit down and turn on the TV. Yeah, me for real. History channel, food channel, or game show. Hello, Mike. Hope you're doing well, Mike. Um. He's gonna break into your house? Yeah. Um. I would prefer the History Channel. Gun to my head. Literally, with Robert. Uh, yeah, History. 
Food, I don't know how to cook in game show. I never, I don't find game shows fun to watch. I don't think they're interesting. History Channel. Oh, Naked and Afraid. Catching the deadliest ancient aliens is on. <laughs> what? I'm so cold. I'm so sad. Didn't I make a Naked and Afraid reference in the previous Daddy stream as well? I'm so scared at this rate, I don't think we're going to catch these aliens by day 50. I'm having trouble following this. Ancient astronaut theorists predict that being naked makes you 10 times more likely to find ancient aliens, okay? Note to self, strip next time I think I can find an alien. Some suggest that aliens are fascinated with the human physique, most notably the bot. Yes, this is correct, we do know about the, the probing. Okay, I'm back here. Whoa, hey, whoa! Hey, man, whoa, hey, hey, what do you see him being into, into, into butts, huh? Um, I can't say daddy anymore. What have you done, internet? Yes, it has been ruined. Taking nose right now. <laughs> I lose several hours to whatever the hell that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch, huh? Well, I guess it's time for old chef man. Chef man! Oh, no. That, it's so fucked up that I... Oh no, because he's, I made his, because it's male man, his last name is man, so they've done the last name, oh my god, Chef Man, that's not a real character, guys, do not make Chef Man be another fucking character, I swear to god, please, oh my god, yes to that, <laughs> Chef Man is now in the law, I hate it, um, uh, oh Chef Man to cook all my delicacy, I'm gonna cook up my other, my brother, Chef Man, instead of male man. I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Make a sandwich. Microwave some eggs? Wait, what? I just cook fry an egg. Don't mic- what? And mustard jar. That's disgusting. Make a, make a sandwich. I make a sandwich in its entirety while standing there. Who needs plates? Wait, really? You- Out of the fridge? Okay. The sandwich. A lost art. I had my way my work for a second before I clumsily dropped the entire thing on the floor. Oh my god. Chef man, really? No! Hey, five second rule. I'll look around and remember that Amanda's not home. Quick, quick, quick. This is still good. Good, good, good. Five second rule. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. I reassemble my sandwich, peeling pickles off the f Chef man, mortal man, are you hungry? Eat 30 olives. If it's written, so shall it be done. Okay, listen. Uh, when when I thought it fell on the ground, I thought it... I didn't think it just went... Like, it just scattered. Okay? I thought it was like the sandwich just... He made it and it just fell. Like, like you know. I didn't realize he fucking... The pickles are stuck to the ground. Because it's obviously going to get shit on it. If it, there's a pickle, it's sticky a little bit. Oh my god, man. Bruh. Bruh. Bro. Mm -mm. Pop them, pop them back in my mouth. Wait, I'm a wreck. Yes, you are. I finish my snack and walk around the house some more. Bored. Don't you have good money? Just throw the, just throw it out at that point. It's fine. Or save some of it. Just throw the pickles out. You surely have plenty of pickles. Come on. I don't like wasting food, but if it's like literally fucking like that, that's way too much, man. Walk around the house some more, bored. When's Amanda coming home? Oh, I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off of a door. Oh my god, my friends fucking have this in my house. And they fucking use it every day. I, thankfully, it's not like... Like, it's not super loud, but like, it, it is kind of funny. It's kind of goofy. It would really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. Bro loves to bowl. <laughs> Bro wants to bowl. I spent a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. Come on and slam! <laughs> I tell you a leap from the three, free throw line and rock, a, rock it that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild. And welcome to the jam! <laughs> I pull up from the three-point line, breaking ankles and sinking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. No, no look behind the back hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. Something, something, space jam. <laughs> Get up and slam. Welcome to the jam. Oh man, that's that's actually peak though. I love it. Um, insert scout's reaction in the cold and the naked TF2 comic. The fuck is this abomination mail? Who hurt you? Hey, hello, Storm. How you doing? Wait, do you have you not seen Gmail before, Storm? Yeah, I'm Gmail. I'm Goth Mail. 
I like being goth male. Everybody else likes being goth male. We're also um dating a Victorian goth Damien in this game, so it makes sense I'm goth male right now. I managed to just barely defeat myself at horse before Amanda comes home. Then we cook some dinner together. We're proud of ourselves for not even coming close to burning down the house. Afterwards, Amanda and I dig into a cartoon of a carton, a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chopped. Toddler tournament. What? What you have in front of you is a modu mo molecularly deconstructed sweet potato with a brown sugar demi glaze with cream face, of course. How is a toddler saying all of that? This is literally a jar of baby food. <laughs> the toddler immediately bursts into tears. Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. Just then, my computer dings. Huh? What's that? Yo, Robert, finally. Oh, you probably just got a message. Amanda and I walk over to the computer and check dad book. It's a message from Robert. You up? What are you doing? What does that mean? What are you doing? What am I doing? You're just chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm watching television with my daughter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Robert, mate, just working on me, uh, my sick, my sick cycle riding, my my motorcycle. <laughs> God fucking damn it! Oh, I thought you were existential crisis, man. No, no, Gmail, golf mail. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm golf and edgy, and I hate society. It is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling, man. Just chilling, bros. What, what up? What up, man? I type back just chilling. Amanda deletes the G. <laughs> And hit send. It'll make you look cooler. A couple moments pass by, another message pops up. Yes. Wanna grab a drink? Hey, that means he wants to hang out. I know what that means, Amanda. But it's kinda late. Hey. Come on, Pops, live a little. I am living with ice cream and traumatized toddlers. Well, it's your life, but I think you'd have a lot of fun tonight. You are trying to get to know the neighborhood uh, neighbors better, right, aren't you? Ugh, fine. I type back a message to Robert asking him for details, and he tells me to meet him at Jim and Kim's. Which, again, I can only think of fucking Better Call Saul. Like, it's Jimmy McGill and Kim Wexler. Jim and Kim's. And Better Call Saul it would have started airing by the time this game came out. So maybe a bit of bar. Why would a bar be named after them? Well, don't wait up for me. I never do. I throw on a nice jacket. Hell yes. And run on out the door. It's only a short walk to Jim and Kim's, and it's a beautiful night. Aw. Hell yeah, here we are. I walk into the bar and see the usual crowd. See, this is this is where it's like not very mailman-esque. Mailman would never go out and drink, unfortunately. BCS riff. Wait, actually, can I can I play that, please? I want to play that actually because I fucking love it. No, we want a guitar lesson. Come on. The f the first thing that popped up is um a guitar lesson to. There it is. <laughs> And then it's the full song, but no, you just want the riff. You just want you want that, that little intro bit of the start. <laughs> I walk into the bar and see the usual crowd of barflies drinking beer and watching sports. Cringe. Two things I would never do. I spot Robert at the back of the bar and wave hi as I walk over. Hey man, how's it going? Hey buddy. Hey. Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! You're, you're freaking, what's his face's wife? What are you doing here? Ahoy there, Skipper. Robert and Mary are here? Uh oh. Whoa, this is your Christian lady. What the fuck is this? What are you doing out here? What the fuck? This is a bit sus. <laughs> I brought Mary along, figured we needed a drinking buddy. Oh man, I was excited to get to know Robert a little better. Now I have to deal with this weird married lady making passes at me. What the fuck? This is- You have a husband, lady. This is fucking weird. I don't like this woman. This is extremely bizarre. My life is complex, aren't we all? <laughs> don't we all have complex lives? <laughs> um, oh, God damn it! I don't like this Mary. I only like Robert, man. Ugh. Don't look so scared, kiddo. We're just having a drink. Oh. Yeah, speaking of which, I think it's time for the first round. What are you having? Mm. Beer, something tropical, or whiskey straight up. Okay, well, this guy's probably going to want the whiskey straight up. And honestly, obviously I don't drink, and I don't particularly want to drink. But I feel like if I... if I, I feel like at some point in my life, I might like to, to you know, drink... Drink to an intellectual degree. And, and, and when, I, when I say that, I mean, like... 
wine I'm okay with, whiskey, rum, stuff like that. I like, I feel like anything you can collect in a bottle and make it look nice in a collection, I feel like that's the sort of stuff that I wouldn't mind drinking. Like, I'm not gonna be beer. I'm not gonna like vodka. Soju? I'd like to try soju at least once, maybe, if I'm ever in Japan. Um, or, 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 so, well, oh, wait, am I thinking of sake? Sake is the alcohol. Soju is just the, soju is not alcoholic, right? I'm not crazy, right? No, soju is a beer. Soju is alcoholic beer. Okay, cool. I'm not dumb. Korean. Okay, my bad. I'm just racist. That's all good. I mean, to be fair, it sounds. Soju is nice for social drinking. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. 20 ABV. I don't know what ABV means, but fair enough. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to go whiskey straight up. I feel like that's the kind of hard liquor that, uh, that Robert would like, right? And that's something that I can kind of get behind as well. I, I don't care about beer. See, something tropical... I don't know. As much as I'm not a drinker, I don't really care about cocktails that much. The only cocktail I would like is like um, an espresso martini because I have I have had two espresso martinis before. Um, that's the funny thing. You I don't drink, can't get me to drink at all. You put fucking coffee in it, I'll drink it. Which is by the way the worst thing to actually fucking drink. I fully agree and admit it's like you're having you're having um, uh. Uh, what is it? A depressant with a with a stimulant, right? You're not supposed to mix the two. But it's caffeine. I love coffee. I love the taste of coffee. It's my favorite. <laughs> Straight whiskey tastes like poison. I've had it. I enjoy it. That's the thing. It is poison. Yeah, it literally is poison. Yeah, that means 20% alcohol. Okay, okay. Alcohol is literally a poison. Yeah. They're reworking Russia. Nice. Hell yeah. That should be good. I mean, that tree is fucking abysmal. Like, it's not bad, but it's like too big. There's a lot going on with that. Straight whiskey. See, I'm a hard man. I like it hard and tough. <laughs> like a badass. Again, I don't drink. I never will. But like, I, see, I wouldn't be more like a rum guy. Personally. Fun fact, caffeine can make you absorb alcohol better. Huh. Who would have thought? Who would have known? Fair enough. Um, yeah, I'll have a uh, whiskey straight up. A dad after my own heart, huh? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's a, he's a whiskey man. Ugh. Ugh. He just fucking, like, thrusts his pelvis forward. What the fuck, Robert, dude? Chill. Chill. I just said I like whiskey. Dude. Robert orders three shots of whiskey and passes them between us. Well, this isn't uh, how I expect my night to be going. See, I don't like shots. Shots, I think, it's so yucky. I love the idea of it. I never would ever have a shot. Never have. Never will. Um, I want, like, a nice, fine glass of whiskey to sip on. See, that's something I can get behind. But not, not, not shot, I don't care about shotting culture. You just want to get, like, drink really quickly. I don't know, drunk really quickly. That's a full loco got banned everywhere. Them out. Ah. We'll confirm shots are gross. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad, I'm glad to know. <laughs> um. Hey. Here's to bad decisions and relaxed moral values, fellas. What have I gotten myself into? We all knocked back the shots. I almost choke on the whiskey as it burns down my throat. Holy hell, that was a kick. I took over. I look over at Robin and Mary, who seem like old pros at this. Robert grabs his jacket and throws it on. Oh, he took it off for a bit. Let's get marching. What? The night's young, chief. Come on, we're bar hopping. Oh my god, bro he wants to do, um... Did you guys watch that movie? So there's, there's Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and I think it's The World's End is the third one. I always get the name confused because I always want to call it the end of the world or something, but no, it's called The World's End. And that movie is really good, but I mainly prefer the first half of the movie as opposed to the second half. It kind of does the 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 thing that um Edgar Wright is the director. I fucking love Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright is such a good fucking movie director. He did those three movies, the Cornetto trilogy it's called. Um, with like um What is the names? Um Sean? Sean? Simon? Sean Pegg? Simon, something like that, and then and then and then the and then Frost, Frost. Those those two actors, British British movies, British actors, um, and then and then also uh, Edgar Wright also did um, Baby Driver, which is really fucking good too. But uh, yeah, in the World's End, there's like the the first plot, the first half of the plot of the movie is like um, it's Simon Pegg's character. That's his name, right? Simon Pegg, I think it is. Um, and. Uh, he, um, like, the, yeah, he's, like, 40 or whatever, and he's, like, he goes back to his town and tries to get all his friends who are now 40 as well and, 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 you know, got jobs and shit, and he wants to bar hop again, and it's, like, so cringe and weird because he's, like, a 40-year-old trying to be, like, a 16-year-old again. Um, <laughs> that, that's kind of what, kind of what Robert reminds me of a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Thank you, thank Nick Frost. Thank you, Barkeep. You, you were on that without you. Very good, very good. Um... 
You all done like shots? No, Kitsu, no. Oh no, he's emo. I am. Well, I'm goth actually, Sleepy. You haven't seen it before. I am. Um, I I am indeed the goth, the goth male, the G male. That that's what I am. I have a bunch of new outfits actually. I just think soju by the bottle. Fair enough, Barky. Clearly, you've never had ice cream shots. No, and that does not seem like a guy thing to ever have, Kitsu. <laughs> No, and I'm I'm definitely I'm like again I don't drink as it is. The most I have drank is like a little bit of whiskey. I tried beer once and said I oh, this is fuck this I don't want this ever, buddy. To my friends, the only time I've ever drank has been with my friend who has two kids, and I I drank, I drank once when he was getting married. Sorry, once when he was when he announced he was getting married. Once before the wedding, and then a third time uh, when he was having his second kid. So that, those are the three times, um, and and yeah, the only one I ever enjoyed was the espresso martini because fucking caffeine. I love it. Um, you would be correct. Some yeah, thank you again. Some and Nick Frost, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and Worlds. And yep, those are the movies we we're talking about. Um, Sleepy, um, just because like the whole idea of bar hopping, I always think of the first half of the World's End, like just just Simon Pegg's character in that and how like much of a kind of weirdo he is. Um, ice cream shots are good though, but alcohol isn't for everyone, so each their own. I do love my Cornettos, they get me addicted to ice cream. Is it bad I've seen them? You- Oh no, that's not bad! I- I think they're great, they- like, for a period of time, they were my three favorite movies of all time. I was, like, obsessed with them. I think they're fantastic. Edgar Wright is my favorite director of all time. Like, I think he- He hasn't made anything really super new and re super new recently. I also think Taika Waititi is really, really good, uh, director coming off the top of my head. But, um, I think Edgar Wright is fucking awesome. Like, uh, Baby Driver. I love Baby Driver so much. I like Shaun of the Dead. It makes me laugh. Shaun of the Dead is awesome. I think Shaun of the Dead is fantastically well written. Um, like, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Let me see. Has Edgar Wright done anything new recently? I don't think he has, unfortunately. Um, Edgar Wright. Filmmaker and actor. Well, he's not really an actor. He did Last Night in Soho. Oh. The fence gag? The fence gag is so good, and then he does that in all the movies as well. Oh! I'm an idiot! He did Scott Pilgrim! Yeah, Scott Pilgrim's fucking amazing! The movie, the original movie. I forgot he did fucking Scott Pilgrim. That's, yeah, he's a fucking giga chat. Yeah, of course. He does such good movies. Um, I've not watched Fistful of Fingers. Isn't that like a short film? British comedy film? Bad Cowboy? Yeah, I haven't watched that one. But yeah, Shaun the Dead, banger. Hot Fuzz, banger. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, banger. Um, he wasn't the director for that. The World's End, banger. Baby Driver, banger. And then, he wasn't the writer for it, but he did direct The Sparks Brothers. I haven't watched that, but maybe it's good. And then, Last Night in Soho. I haven't watched this. Let me put it on my bookmarks, because I've not watched this one. Never heard of a shortcut before. <laughs> um... What is the plot of this? I don't want spoilers, but... Ellie Turner, a sweet and naive teenager with trouble mental health, loves the music and fashion, the swinging 60s, and dreams of becoming a fashion designer. Her mother, also a fashion designer, killed herself in her childhood. Oh my god, this is a bit of a dark, serious plotline compared to, like, other Edgar Wright stuff. So Ellie was raised by her maternal grandmother. She occasionally sees her mother's ghosts in mirrors, something her grandmother is aware of. Oh my lord. Is Scott Pilgrim that one where he beats up the exes of that one chick? Yeah, seven evil exes. And if you're a if you're a mentally unhinged, unstable man like me, then you will be uh, un insatiably in love with Ramona Flowers, <laughs> because that's just the, that's just the style that I like. But in the original comics, he does not get with uh, Ramona. He gets with uh, knives. Um, it's like supposed to be. The whole message is to is to not just go with the new crazy hot girl. Is to stick with your current relationship. Obviously, obviously. I think uh, the I also watched the new anime that they did, and it was okay. I just, I, it's one of those things where I feel like you can accidentally trick people into thinking this is this is a remake. This is a plot. This is the whole original plot, but then it's not. And so I don't like that trick. If it, it, the the Scott Pilgrim anime. You can only watch if you've seen the original movie. It's a sequel, if anything. Or a re remaking, a retelling. You know, you can't watch it by itself. I don't get the attraction to women. Understandable, Barkeep. Each jab, fair enough. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Why is um Joseph's wife here? Shouldn't she traumatize children? Yeah, she seems like a little uh, 
a little sus. She seems like she uh, might get around a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what she gets up to. So we were talking about um men though. Fuck yeah, based based. Um, a barkeep. Also, we're in a bar. That's that's pretty interesting coincidence. Um, yeah, we we're talking about uh, Edgar Wright's movies because uh, so Robert mentioned bar hopping, and I thought of uh, The World's End with uh, Robert Frost and uh, and and Simon Pegg. Um, which, which again, yeah, Barkeep, Barkeep knew, Barkeep fucking knew those names, like, right off the, the bat, which is pretty epic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick Frost, why do I keep saying Robert Frost? Robert Frost was the poet, what the fuck? Ah, yes, Robert Frost, they, they brought him back from the dead, They're like, hey, buddy, you're a poet, you want to be an actor? Can you put on some pounds and have a British accent, sir? <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, uh, alright. Bar hopping does not seem like the mailman thing to do. See, I'm really interested in Robert, but I would never go out of my way to, like, to hang out with him on this le on this scale. You know what I mean? We'd leave the bar and start walking down the street. I still don't know this area of town very well, so I just follow Robert. So where are we headed? Uh, Irish, I were drinking. It's an Irish pub. Okay, that's a funny name. A good pun is the whiskey to my heart. Ugh. <laughs> Puns are the lowest form of humor, male. Try harder. What? But Robert did it. Ouch. Am I going to be the butt of the joke all night? Robert's allowed to do it. Fuck you, Mary. Huh. Jesus, Mary. <laughs> I think that's funny. Because Jesus, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. That is, that's, uh, that's, I mean, that's not a pun. But I have made my brain think it is a pun. Because of biblical, biblical law. Oh, man. Um, leading the shots while, uh, homing country roads, <laughs> badass. And it's ended my spike, um, from Cowboy Bebop haircut era. Wow, really long. Crazy hair like that. Awesome, I guess, if you like it. Country gnomes, take my bones. MHA question. I Sure, I'm, I'm, I like to think I was a, was a, a MHA expert back in the day, Sleepy. So what's your question? I, I, I'm still further than the anime right now, I think. I stopped right before they did the... F big fight final fight i think but the start of the big final fight i don't know how to say it without spoiling anything not the war i was past the war to a place they don't belong west virginia cross pajamas country gnomes take my bones why does everybody have like a um a, a, a parody version of that song because there's um um there's like so many like crunchy crunchy roll and i think there's a mario one but i can't remember Jesus, Mary, put your fangs away for a second. We walk into Irish, I were drinking. This bar is pretty much the same as Jim and Kim's, except for the old timey Irish memorabilia on the wall. Next round, what are you having? Whiskey hasn't failed me yet. Beer might be good. Do they make fruity Irish cocktails? No, 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 no. Whiskey. Whiskey has not failed me yet. He loved it the first time, he's gonna love it the second time. See, I knew it! Oh, whiskey! Ugh. Let's do it! Robert orders three more glasses of whiskey, and we post up in a garish green booth. Mary slides in and slides next to Robert, which makes me breathe a sigh of relief. But also a little sauce. She has a husband. What is what is this Robert guy to her? <sighs> Let's sip this one, why don't we? Mm. Suit yourself. Mary immediately downs a shot in one gulp and burps loudly. Ah. That'll put hair on your chest. You are truly the paragon of grace and beauty. Mm. Mary grabs my drink and sips hey. on it. Hey! Mm. May I'll be a dear and get us another round, will ya? She, I don't like this, Mary. She's like, forgive me. I don't like using this word. Okay, I respect women. This this Mary seems a little bitchy. Okay, pardon pardon my language, but I think in this case, I I, I think that is an apt description to say the least. Um, I still don't know how my hair got like spikes. I uh. Didn't do anything to it. Uh, I just let it grow and it went puffy like it. Oh. I've just uh, watched the movie where Deku and Bakugo team up to take down nine. Oh my god. That's such a... I watched that movie in cinemas. I watched that fucking movie in cinemas. So, that movie is non-canon because it wasn't in the manga. Also, fun fact. When that movie came out, um, that was actually... They had stuff that was past the anime. When, where the anime was up to when that movie came out. 
Um, I watched that movie in cinemas. I think it was a very fun, interesting movie. Um, and that when they did that moment, I was like, what the fuck? How are they allowed to do this? But that movie is non-canon. And with how the movie ends, no. They kind of just go back. They like they reset it. They say, no, it didn't happen. But I believe the, the specific words they use in that movie was the transfer didn't complete. Because they both fell unconscious or something. But they did temporarily both have that power at the same time. Fluffy. Give me the most zesty fruity cocktail you have based. Sure. <laughs> she a bish. Mary, you seem like a navigated woman. Um, she actually has bad handwriting. We fully agree she's a bitch. Um, when you go with a Damien pop? Wait, bad handwriting go with Damien pop. Oh, okay, huh. As someone who is a woman, you can call her a bitch. Thank you for the five people in chat who's, who agreed with my, my descriptive use of that word to call Mary that. Thank you very much. I will still refrain from using it uh, a lot, though. <laughs> I enjoyed the movie, though, even if Bakugo is still mean. That's his character. Like, I feel like some people like Bakugo, and it's weird. But Bakugo does kind of get better over time. At least kind of where I read up to as well. Like, wh I'm assuming you read it, you watched it in the anime, Sleepy. Did you? Are you up to the war arc? You said they've done the Invisible Girl stuff. So did you finish the war arc? Did you see the stuff with Best Genus? Because I thought that stuff was really cool, especially with him and, and Bakugo. Um, as a non-women, <laughs> she's a bit non-women. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you, I, I get it, cool, okay. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Bakugo, yes, fair, fair. The description of the actual art degree thought cabinet? Man, oh, manifested, true, so, that's, yeah, that's the, um, tripe. Oh god, it's literally the, um, the fucking, like, the L plus ratio. Actual art degree... I fucking love this. Let me read it out. <clears throat> Trite, contrived, mediocre, milk toast, amateurish. Actually, wait a second. Let me, guys, do you want to get a, if someone wants to clip this, if someone wants to clip this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You all in chat right now. I'm talking to you, chat. Chat, you know what you are? You're trite. Contrived, mediocre, milk toast, amateurish, infantile, cliche, and gonorrhea ridden peon to con conformism. I fucked me. Affront to humanity. A war crime should literally be tried for war crimes. Resolutely shit. Lacking in imagination. Uninformed reimagining as fuck. Limp wristed, premature, ill informed attempt at. Talentless. Fuckfest, redivistic shit peddler, pedantic, listless, savagely boring, just one repulsive laugh after another. There you go. I hope that's I hope that I hope that was a I hope that was a good read of that. Get that one for free. Vine Boom SFX. I actually saw a clip on YouTube as well about the with the Vine Boom. I like Shoto and Kirishima, though. Who's Kirishima? I don't... I remember I really like Red Riot, whatever his name is. Is he... I liked Red Riot for a bit. He was cool. I liked, um... Oh, God. I really liked, uh... All of Mirio's friends. Right? That's Kirishima? Okay, thank you, thank you. Cool. I thought so. I mean, see, I was into... I was into MHA when I was a teenager, so... Back then... Back then, when I was an underage teenager, I certainly was, was had thoughts about the girls in that anime. Um, and Daizawa, as I was cool. I hope someone made Lucian nod. Um, that is a mod that is just uh, Gojo instead. I don't think they do mods in these games. God is dead and your mere existence of what killed him. The Gmail is fitting. Um, Kirishima is the red. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Back... Back in your day, back in my day, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I see, I, I read the My Hero at manga and then I stopped reading just because, like, I didn't, I didn't vibe with it as much anymore. Also, when you're reading it weekly, you kind of fall things off. Mirko has been my wife since day one, kind of based, kind of based. I noticed how you didn't mention Aizawa though. Oh no, I mean, you, I, sorry, I did read that out, didn't I? Aizawa's fine as the teacher. Um, he's all right. 
I don't really have a preference to any of the, the actual heroes, right? Uh, I remember I really liked Best Genus with the little bit he did. Um, Hawk? Who's the Hawk guy? There was a Hawk man. He was the number two hero, I think. Oh, I fucking love Endeavor. I get that Endeavor is is complicated and there's some really fucked up shit with him. I think how they did Endeavor's arc, I really fucking loved. I was like, oh shit, I like this. I get this man. I understand him. Hawks, yeah. Mm, or oh, Hawks, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool, he's cool. Um, I get the Endeavor fight. I remember with the Endeavor fight where he, like, he had a fucking his face, like, burnt off. That was amazing. Endeavor's arcs, one of the best ones in MHA. Absolutely. I would bury you alive, but I feel bad for the worms. It's a fucking Giga Chad line, Mom. What the hell? That reminds me of a Naruto thing as well. There was, a, there was this immortal guy that Shikamaru couldn't kill in Naruto. And so he, like, buried him. It was fucking insane. It was so, like, a lot more... Like, Naruto's dark, but it was very, like, crazy for Naruto. I can't think of any other good insults. I have an issue because of what Endeavor did. I, I get it, Sleepy, but at the same time, like, I don't think you've seen the arc yet. Yeah, you might not have seen it. But, like, I think when they did the flashback, at least when I read it in the manga, when they did the flashback of, like, Endeavor and... And... The situation with the kids. I didn't really think that Endeavor was at fault in my opinion. Because Endeavor was trying to do his best to stop the... Oh god, I gotta be careful of spoilers. I can't say too much, I don't think. But like, I felt like the kid really wasn't trying to like stop or, or get help or anything. Like he just kept escalating and escalating and escalating. He hurt my boy Shoto? Yeah, I get it, but but he didn't... But that was the mother. The mother is the one who, who burnt um, Shoto's face. Endeavor was just kind of a bit of a piece of shit and just kept training them to be stronger. Uh, when Nitschet seen you, he lost faith in God. No, it doesn't hit really well. When God saw you, he lost faith in himself. <laughs> there you go, that's a good one. Uh, take that one free of charge. <laughs> that one goes so fucking hard. I just came up with that on, on top of my head as well. He's like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have made the human race. <laughs> anyway, I sorry. I like talking to you guys too much. It's, being a stream is hard. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I playing the game, reading things is hard. Male be be a D and get us another round. Yeah, f shut up, Mary. I don't know how to process this evening at all. Like, get up and order another round of drinks from the bartender. As I head back, I see Mary and Robert having a lively conversation. Robert roars with laughter. I don't think I've ever seen this guy smile, let alone laugh. I take a seat across the booth from them and pass out the drinks. So Edis kid snuck some pot brownies onto the table at the last bake sale, right? And I spot that little hemp sweatshirt gremlin in the act. So I go up to Edith with one with the baggie and I'm about to tell her when all of a sudden she just freaks out at me. You're ruining the bake sale, she says. I should have been PTA president. Your roots are bad and blah blah blah. So what'd you do? I told her to have a brownie and that everything was going to be fine. They both erupt in laughter. I politely follow along with the story. She ate three. Sheesh. More laughter. Okay, that was actually pretty funny. She called the cops and told them that time had stopped. Mary looks directly at me. Do you smoke weed? What? What? You know, the devil's lettuce. I... I this is, guys, this is why I'm like, I like Robert, I want to learn more about his stories, but I'm, this is not the crowd that I'm, I'm a part of. The male man would never be in this crowd. I have two big fat blunts in my purse right now. What the fuck is up with Mary? Yeah, blaze it to Jesus. Fucking blaze it to Jesus right now. Oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Want to blaze? Uh... What the fuck is it? This escalated so much. What is happening, man? Oh my god. Um. Are you with the feds, lady? Are you with the fucking feds? Is this a fucking. Is this. A, are you franking me right now? Are you trying to catch me? I worked hard for what I have, and no two bit corner boy is gonna drop the dime on me, lass. I ain't falling for it. So you take what you're pushing somewhere else, and I'll keep running my business the way I wanna run. What? Remember, you come at the king, you best not miss. Woo! Jesus, kid, dial it back. Robert giggles. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, I love this guy. He never, a cop would never get this boy right here. This is my boy. He fucking, he'd fucking die before he gets caught by the cops. <laughs> Robert loves it. Robert's fucking in on it. I love it. I love it. That's peak. That's fucking peak. Oh. Uh. 
So what is um Katsuki's backstory? I've read things where he's like afraid of being his father. Um, Kat, you mean, you mean Shoto? You mean you mean Todoroki? Katsuki, Katsuki, Katsuki. Who the fuck is Katsuki? Am I dumb? Uh, you know what free weed I am in? <laughs> is it dipped in holy water? Bakugo. Oh, okay, Katsuki. I was like, I so I don't know their last names because I that like their family names. My brain kind of like dies a little bit because it's been a long, it's been a while since I've watched or read it, so I don't remember their names very well. Wait, was Todoroki icy hot? Yes, correct. Yes, that was that was Todoroki. Todo, T O D O. Um, yeah, Bakugo. A uh, Bakugo doesn't really have any sort of explanation. At least anything I read, he just. The only things we get is he wants to be like All Might, just like Deku, because he just wants to be powerful to protect people. Um, Frozen Zuko. <laughs> I can go on if you want. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Um. The dad is just kind of like a normal guy, which is like, it's fucked up if Bakugo hates him, because he's just a normal, decent guy. Um, Bakugo's just a bully, he's just an asshole. He's just like a bit mean, and his mom keeps him in line anyway, a little bit. Uh, yeah, so Robert loved me, not wanting to snitch the cops. Mm. I'm just kidding, cowboy. Mm. Lay off the kid, Mary, he might not be used to your brand of humor. Huh? Fine, fine. Yeah. We sit around- I'm, I'm the same age as you guys. We sit around and sip our drinks. People watching and cracking jokes. After a little bit of time, begin to warm up to Mary. No, I, I don't. Her jokes become much funnier and much less scary. Dot, dot, dot. But it seems like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. I just wanted some time alone with Robert. I wonder if I can get her to leave somehow. Isn't Joseph wondering where you are? Yes, yeah, sleezing around with men. Lots of eligible bachelors around here, huh? Could you get the next round? Yeah, we fucking- we tell her to- Maybe that one will work. I met his mother law. Yeah, they did the mother stuff. They did all the parents stuff like a while ago. Damn it, I wanted weed. She was she was joking. She was lying. She was she was yeah, she was tricking us, unfortunately. Um could you go get the next round, Mary? You trying to ditch me, pal? I know. Because if you try to ditch me, you can just tell me to scram. I just no, no, it's fine. Mayo wants alone time with his new best buddy, Robert. Reg, loud and clear. The wingman breaks formation to pursue their prey. Hey. Now, if you fellas will excuse me, Mary needs to sink her teeth into a helpless boy. What the fuck? Go with God. Nice seeing you. Deuces, nerds. Mary gets up and saunters over to a younger looking guy at the bar. She's She, she literally is cheating on her husband. Hey. Like, what the fuck? She grows on you. Yeah, I d sure thing, Robert. Whatever you say. Does she though? I feel like she kind of delights in making men suffer. Huh. Well, she does. But what about her and Joseph? Mm. What about them? You know, they're, they're married and she definitely tried to get in my pants the other night. Okay, this game is pretending as if I did those scenes. I didn't do those scenes. Whatever. And I gestured to across the bar where she's making goo goo eyes at that young guy from before. He looks like he's being held hostage. Uh. Oh, that's just a thing she does. She's harmless. Mmm. It's still weird, even if she's not in another relationship with another guy. I still think it's fucking weird. Tell that to the boy she's hanging off of. Poor kid looks like he's seen war. <laughs> Bro's got the thousand, yard, thousand yard long stare just from dealing with Mary. <laughs> Robert lets out a hearty laugh. Hey, I got him to laugh. Oh man, you know I paid you for one of those straight lace types. I, I am actually, yes. Don't worry, I got pretty wild back in my day. Still got a little wild, didn't you? You know it. There's so much wild in me. I have a child I need to take care of. <laughs> is, I mean, that is true. This, I mean, the last one is correct. I'm not going to say it, but I, mean, I think I'm just going to say you know it. But um, I know where Bakugo gets his attitude from, lol. Yeah, exactly. TPH, I was scared she was a vampire. Still not convinced she isn't. I mean, the way she's taking Paid you good choice of words, dude, bruh. Yes, I got a just a little bit of the wild inside of me. A little bit. Oh my god, I love wild men. Ugh. Robert orders a couple more rounds of shots. I gulp. What am I getting myself into? Think you can go shot for shot? Back in my day, maybe. There's only one way to look cool here. I grab the shot closest to me and down it. Robert looks impressed. He takes this shot and knocks it back. That's one. So, what do I even talk about? He's so cool and he probably hates small talk. Uh, so how are things? I... 
I hate small talk. Okay. Mm. Too many people, and this isn't necessarily you, but too many people think that they have to fill the dead air with noise. Personally, I think they're afraid of the silence, or they're afraid of what the other person is going to think of the silence. Yeah. If you want some unsolicited advice, just learn to be comfortable with silence. Robert's got some good advice there. Kind of badass. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with two people sitting in silence and drinking whiskey. Oh. Alright. Oh. Rob and I sit in silence and drink whiskey. I take in the rest of the bar. Patrons laughing, playing darts, spilling beer. Mary giving the hard sell to that young man. That young man pretending he got a phone call from one of his friends. <laughs> oh, maybe silence is nice sometimes. So you have a killer man. <laughs> Uh, Liam, why do you have the daddy tag? Listen, it's because I'm playing Dream Daddy, a daddy dating simulator. Sorry, dad dating simulator. Okay, too, too many daddies there. And also, the, I just have one, like, extra tag that I keep in as a backup that I can change around a little bit if I want to. Yesterday, it was Master. What is better, Master or Daddy? Both are bad, by the way. Don't n n Neither of them are good. Robert is the guy that has really good advice but acts like a crazy guy. I plead the fifth. I know, maybe we killed someone uh, legally in a war. Both are good. Cap on God. Cap on God, I want neither. But we are playing Dream Daddy, so um, I'm happy to say... I'm happy to use the D word here. God, I fucking... I like, like, I've been saying it this whole time, and now I'm trying to, now I'm trying to stop saying it. Father, master. Okay, I'm ignoring y'all now. You have a killer man. I choke on my jo I actually, like, literally was, was spit- I had a spit take just then, guys, when he said- when he asked that as well. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. You know, watch the life drain from someone's eyes. It's not just their life, you know, it's their hopes and dreams draining away. Every memory and experience they've ever had. Gone. Uh, no, can't say I have. Hey. Great, me neither. <laughs> Robert knocks back his shot and motions for me to do the same. I reciprocate. I'm just messing with you. Relax. I laugh nervously. Or am I? <laughs> or don't. Oh my god. I laugh nervously again. We sip more whiskey and watch people some more. Mary has a sight set on another man after the other one excused himself to the bathroom. And I assume crawled out of the window. Gosh, this whiskey's hidden me hard. Gosh, this whiskey's hidden me hard. You betcha. Robert gets up out of the booth, shouldering his jacket. Mm. Let's roll. Sorry, whiskey. Inside voices. Yeah. Let's roll. Wait, what about Mary? Oh. Brother, Mary's gonna be just fine. I look over at Mary, who's lying on the bar in front of some poor sap. She's singing happy birthday here to him while he insists that it's not his birthday. We make our way out of the bar and back onto the street. I'm trying my hardest not to stumble, but man, that sidewalk is just coming right at me. I hope Robert doesn't notice me tripping over my own feet like this is the first time I've ever been drunk. Where to? Mm. You'll see. I follow Robert through street lamp spotlights until we eventually arrive at a rundown strip mall. There's a beauty salon, a sex shop, pardon, a computer repair store that looks like it's been closed for 10 years, and finally a liquor store. Bro, we've been drinking all night and now you're going to be buying a bottle of booze? What is... What is this, man? You know too much for that, Robert. V-Source. I think she wasn't lying about the fat butts. Uh, no, I think she just drank that much. I believe it. I believe it. Um, okay. Um. Wait here. I'll be right back. After a minute, Robert returns with two wine bottles and brown paper bags. He hands one to me. Cheers. He sits on the curb and drinks. He motions for me to do the same. This is really not where I expected night to go. I take a sip. Why, does it fandle? What? Nothing, I just wasn't expecting. It is delicious, fruity and refreshing, don't judge me. Base taste, but no, it's okay. You got, you got the hard liquor and you got some good liquor. I mean, both can be good, but yeah. I start to say something, think of his lecture about valuing silence early and stop. I sip on my wine and watch cars drive by. Huh. Let's throw rocks at shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> Robert suddenly hurls a rock at a stop sign. The ding echoes throughout the empty parking lot. That felt good. Bro, Robert is like if you play a physical build in Disco Elysium. He's like, I want to punch shit. I want to fucking kick stuff and knock on, bang on doors and, and get angry. He's, he's uh, what is it, pain thresholds or half light? He's, he's the half light skill. <laughs> 
Base wine. Um, finally a good drink. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> he presses a stone into my free hand. Now you try. Uh, I don't know. We're feeling. I look at the rock in my hand and look at the stop sign. Back of the rock and back of the stop sign. I know what has to be done. I got a, I got a problem with, I got a problem with authority. I got a problem with authority. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking base as hell. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a little, a little, a little sad. Um, also, bla uh, what is the biochemistry rat? This one is for you, Pappy. <laughs> what the fuck? I have unresolved resentment toward my father, and I'm gonna express it through property damage. I hurl the rock at the sign. It sails at the stop sign right into the window of Bartica! Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, don't, don't, oh fuck, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of Dodge, get the fuck, get, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, electrochemistry, that's the one thing, yeah, 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 Drink, drinking, yeah, 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 and, 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 and drugs, oh no, oh fuck, leaving a crack, leaving a crack in a car, parked car. Huh? Dude, run! I leap up and dart in the nearest alley, one in hand. I can hear Robert's footsteps behind me. Oh shit! After I'm sh oh, why is there a white van here? After I'm sure I'm far enough away from the cracked window that I'm no longer culpable for this heinous crime, I stop to catch my breath. Maybe we strike rock throwing from the to-do list. Agreed. Suddenly, my stomach growls. Oh man, I'm starving. Let's get pizza. <laughs> bro, bro just lives like a fucking like like a hobo kind of. He's like. I love throwing things when I want to throw things. I love drinking when I want to drink, and I love eating when I want to eat. I think Robin is making a kill dozer inside his garage. I, I they, yes, T hands down. I, I agree with that. Long. Where's good? Where's good around here? Actually, I don't even care if it's good. It just needs to be edible and in my mouth for the next five minutes. Mm. I know just the place. I follow Robert through a maze of alleys and side streets until we eventually end up in front of a tiny hole-in-the-wall pizza joint. The bright red neon sign reads, Pete's Piece of Pizza. Ta-da! I can see a few exhausted-looking workers behind the counter tossing dough and pulling piping hot pizzas right out of stone ovens. My stomach rumbles again. We go up to the counter and get ready to order. Can I get two slices of wine pizza? Oh wait, Mel, you're cool with pineapple on your pizza, right? Oh, this fucking shitty meme. I am cool with it. Mailman is cool with pineapple, but I don't particularly like it. I'm fine with it. I don't dislike it. I'm not going to be a baby and take it off. If someone gives me free pizza, I'm fucking eating it. It's got pineapple. Who cares? But like, I don't like, I, I would never buy a pineapple pizza. Hobo, oh, now this guy's just the perfect frat friend. Again, that's your man. Got to stick by him. True, true, true. I'm actually allergic to pineapples. I didn't know that was something you'll be allergic to. Fair enough, barkeep. Depends on the execution of the pizza. Yeah. I, again, yeah. For me, I'm fine with it. it it's whatever. I'm not, like, uh, upset with it. Of course, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Doesn't mean I love it. I'm cool with it. Ugh. Ugh. I love that you love pineapple. You know what they say about eating pineapple. It makes your uh, taste better. We wait a minute for our pizza to come out of the oven. I'm practically drooling the smell. Like how she hands us each a great slice of on paper plate. So saturated grease that I'm worried it will fall apart. We take our pizzas outside and wander through the alleyways as we eat. I take a bite. It's absolutely delicious. Nice. Pineapple is truly the best pizza topping. Okay, that, that's not my man's. That's not my man's. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with what he just said. No, 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 no. It's not the best. It's not the best. It is oak. Okay. It's, it's, it's if anything, no. It's definitely not the best. That ranch on the pizza. Robert sent me uh, tastes pineapple-y. Uh, weird. <laughs> that ranch on the pizza. Robert sent me tastes pineapple-y. Uh, weird. Fucking okay. <laughs> mm. You said it. Man, I feel way better now. You and me both. We hear noises coming out of a slightly ajar door in the alleyway. Robert looks at me excitedly. Got any more of that wild in you? You betcha. I'm so tired, but I love my daughter, and I should go home to make sure that she's all right. That is a base dancer, but like I'm out having fun. So yeah, um, you betcha. You betcha. Oh, I love that you're so wild, mailman. Good on you.
Rub and I slide the door open and peek inside. It's completely dark except for some flickering light. We slowly creep forward, cautious not to be heard or seen. We're just committing crimes. Shh. Don't shush me so loud. Shh. We come to the end of the hallway and find ourselves standing in front of a movie screen. Oh, this suddenly makes sense. Did we really just sneak into a movie theater like a couple of teenagers? No talking during the movie. We look into the audience and are surprised to find that it's almost completely empty, save for a row of few teenagers in the front. They look annoyed when they notice us. Robert starts making his way to the very back of the theater and I follow him. We sell in with our wines and try to make a sense of this movie. It's a romantic comedy, I think. A young man is frantically trying to get through New York to find the woman that he's finally, finally realized he's in love with. Just watch uh, Kimi no Nawa, your name. <laughs> it's the best rom-com and it's anime. It got, it's good. Good shit. KISS ALREADY! There's nobody kiss yet. You want him to kiss the taxi driver? <laughs> Hell yeah. The kids down the, the way notice us heckling. One of them speaks up. Hey, man. What? What the fuck? You're um the teacher. You're Hugo's kid. Hey, man. Keep it down. Oh, damn. That's Ernest Hemingway. Hugo's kid. Wait. Did, wait. He named you Ernest Hemingway. The, the poet. Oh, my God. That's a shit name. Hey, Ernest. Hey, Ernest. I know you. It's me, your neighbor. Hi. Ernest turns back around, embarrassed. I turn back to Robert. He kiss anyone yet? It turns out that yes, he did kiss someone. He made his way out to a tiny island near New York to profess his love for a woman who for some reason he knew would be there. She tells him that they hit the jackpot. He said that they had, but I think there was some of subtext I'm missing here. Boo, love is dead. Shut up, it's beautiful. Oh, no, you shut up. Ernest grumbles, the credit starts to roll, I stand up, Robert immediately pulls me back down. Hundreds of people worked very hard to make this film happen, and you're gonna sit there here and approach them. Okay. Appreciate them. Look at that, Elizabeth Shelton, she worked really hard, I bet she did lots of good, uh, wardrobe design. Thank you, Elizabeth Shelton, for this beautiful film-going experience. I like Robert, I like, yeah, a second vibe for the, for the credits, cool. And Peter Anders, catering, fed a bunch of people so that they could have the energy to do their jobs. What a guy. We let the credits roll while Robert individually thanks every member of the crew once it's finally over and he makes sure no animals were harmed in the making of this film. Oh, that's kind of awesome. We leave the movie theater. We stumble into the theater parking lot, polishing off the rest of our wine. Hey, assholes! Out of nowhere, a rock flies through the air and hits me on the knee. My knee! <laughs> no, I used to be a father like you before I took a rock to the knee. What the hell? Ernest and his friends stand in the alleyway, blocking out exit. Wait, you're gonna try and beat up some adults? <laughs> Bro, fucking we know that Robert has four knives! What do you think you're gonna fucking do? Robert has four fucking knives! What the fuck is this? They're gonna get themselves killed, man. This is insane. He's on dad book, so where is his kid? Yeah, we haven't met Robert's kid. We know nothing about it. Lol, F to your meme. Uh, F to your name. Ernest Hemingway, author of Whom the Bell Tolls. Kind of based. I like the name, Zan, uh, Zan Veska or Jen Kellner. Robert has military training. Ernest Hemingway is fucked. <laughs> oh, what do you guys want? Why'd you go and throw a rock at my knee? Come on. This is my good knee. <laughs> my orthopedist is going to be pissed. Ernest tosses another rock up and down in his hands. What's wrong with this kid? You ruined my theater going experience. Now you have to pay. <laughs> okay, Ernest. You now you have to pay. <laughs> oh, well, I don't have any cash on me right now. And like, movies got really expensive. Ernest hucks another rock at my other knee. I'm able to jump out of the way, but I didn't properly stretch before physical activity. I'm probably going to feel super sore in the morning. Oh, no. Huh. We ruined it for you. That movie was pretty crappy in the first place. Hey, you take that back. That was a beautiful love story with really genuine acting. You call that good acting? What classics is mainstream slop have you been served your entire life? Hugo's fucking whatever. Hugo makes so much, dude. What? Uh -huh. Have you ever seen any Michael Powell, A Matter of Life and Death, 1946? Easily the toughest five minutes of love you ever witness. Listen, man. No, you listen. That popcorn ass drivet the mass media is shoving down your throat will only make you dumber and sadder. You of all people should strive for a higher standard of the art you consume. Your name is Ernest Hemingway, for Christ's sakes. Mm. Oh no, now you've done it. Ernest rushes Robert, screaming like a banshee. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is this kid? <laughs> oh my god, he's a fucking 12-year-old shrieker on fucking Xbox Live. Oh my god. 
I die between Ernest and Robert trying to stop the kid. He lunges forward, kicking me as hard as he can in the knee. Fuck my knee! <laughs> Robert gets in between Ernest and myself as, as if he's seeing red. Robert, please do not stab a kid to death. Robert, please. They do not ask, we do not need a child murder on the list, okay? Regular murder is good enough as it is. Child murder is taking it too far. Fuck, my fucking knee hurts. Alright, buddy. Talk like punk, get hit like a punk. Robert squares up into a boxer's stance. Queensbury rules. Three minute rounds with one minute rest in between. No low blows, fish hooks, eye Jay grabs or eye blows. What? <sighs> and don't even think about pulling an illegal turnstile. That's an automatic deduction of three points. Uh, I... Hmm? You'll have to designate a second if you're unable to fill your role as a main duelist. One of your friends over there looks like he has enough useful uh, vivacity to handle it. Hey man, I don't want to get dragged into this. That movie sucked. <clears throat> it's too late. You two are bloodbound. If he dies, you die. Holy fucking Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> based? Based? But fucking hell. Oh, Sorry, I don't make the rules. Talk to Queensbury. We're just gonna go. Ernest and his friends warily back away. Robert calls after them. The Queensbury Association will hear about this and consume better content. <laughs> Once the teens are safely out of earshot, Robert turns to me. Were you about to actually fight that kid? Are you kidding me? I would never hit a child. That would be dis despicable. <laughs> you throw the rules at them though, they always bolt. Nobody wants a Queensbury sanctioned throwdown. By full disclosure, I made half of that up. Wow. See, you don't even have to know the rules. You just make them up. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, that was that was actually incredibly fucking based, not gonna lie, that was fucking awesome. Oh man. Um he's gonna walk away with three broken bones and multiple bones in the wrong place. Boys going to war have the illusion of being invincible until they get shot, then that illusion fades. Robert, go make his illusion fade. Kill him, kill him now, half light. Lucian no Lucian wasn't here unfortunately. Um, well, actually, you know what's probably better than Lucy and wasn't fucking here. Oh, my God. <sighs> Rum and I cool down a bit as we walk back to the neighborhood. I'm so sorry. I get really into the art of filmmaking when I drink. That's base. I like that, dude. That's why he likes uh, the neo-Italian whatever. It's okay. I think it's cool how much you like movies. To be honest, I don't know a lot about them myself. Buddy, I got so much to show you. Ever see Sam Fuller? I haven't. Oh, Fuller is cash. Thanks for defending my honor. Thanks for the dinner and, and a movie. Thanks for the. Thanks for defending my honor, bro. <laughs> oh, I know I'll always defend your honor, bro. Mmm. It's a little strange when you say it that way, but sure, why not? Robert throws an arm around my shoulder and we drunkenly belt out tunes all the way back. We finally get to his doorstop. Yeah. This was an interesting night. I liked it. A smile forms on his cheeks, a rare sight. <laughs> Let's hang again soon, yeah? Yeah. I lingered there for a second, swaying drunkenly in the night breeze. Robert claps me on the shoulder. Oh night, bud. Robert heads back inside, and I stumble my way back home. So what do we think about Robert, guys? I think I... I Robert's fine. Bonding, flip-up sunglasses, whiskey, crime, cinema, and Mary. He likes Mary a bit too much. S rank, fucking base. Hell yeah. Lots of dad points, lots of daddy points. Lots of normal points, I guess. Um, Robert was okay. I still like Damien. Damien's my, my go-to. I'm not gonna lie. I'll die for Damien. Lucien would- Oh my god, what the fuck? Craig, Craig, leave me alone. Craig is so desperate. Craig is so desperate. Lucien would probably, uh, the, the guy that would have obligated in a Hemingway fight. He's a ride or die type of guy. Gotta appreciate it. True, true, true. Hmm, be gay, do crimes. What do you want, Craig? What's the what's the big deal here? Hey, buddy, so I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over. No, we already read this one. No, we already we already read that one too. Hey, dude, I've got the runs. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'll head to the store and grab you a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumbles that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these. What? Wouldn't that make it worse? Oh, it's not for diarrhea. Milkshakes are just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? I, but I've got the runs. I meant that I feel like running. Oh. Wanna go come with me to the gym? Well, well one, two, wanna two come? What? Wanna two come with me to the gym? Okay, he did read it. Okay, he did say it in a dumb way. That's why I said it in a dumb way. Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you home remedies for diarrhea? Come on, man, it'll be fun. You know what? Sure. When are we doing this? There's 30 more minutes left in this meat hell marathon. 
I'm outside right now. I'm warming up. Bro, get out of my front lawn. Okay, okay. At least I'm gonna see if Betty gets away from the wolves in time to get a, uh, suppressed a wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. No, no, I'm good. Oh, I, I feel like I'm happy to hang out with Damien once more. Just give Craig a chance. What? He wants me to exercise. Exercise is cringe, man. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. One more Robert Law TV. Okay, we can go on Robert. We can go on one more date with Robert. Okay, what do you guys say? Robert or or Craig? Because I feel like I don't. I think Damien wraps it up. Maybe is my guess. I don't know though. If it's like an ending, but I I Robert does not convince me to not go and to not get his ending. Craig, we have two Roberts and a Craig. Two Roberts, two Craigs. Two Roberts, two Craigs is what I'm seeing. Two Roberts, two Craigs. Kisu is yelling Craig multiple times, but she is not multiple people. Two Roberts, two Craigs. Surely we have a James in chat. Someone else in chat. Two Roberts, two Craigs. Flip a coin? <laughs> I'm not gonna flip a coin. Guys, do you think I own a coin? Like, who owns coins nowadays? Not me. It's all on card, baby. On Google? <laughs> I'll, I'll do one Craig. I'll do a Craig hangout, and then we'll do a Robert. That's what I'll say. We just did a Robert. We'll do a Craig, and then we'll do Robert. That's what I'm, I'm happy with. Okay, so let's go with his first message. No, that one. So we already read this before, so I'll just go down it. Um, So he wants me to go to a party. My children are having a tea party. You want to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. You're also invited. Okay, I'll attend that party. I don't know if this is a date with him or if it's a, like a different hangout. So. Woo, yes. Anything better than Joseph, at least. <laughs> Joseph was the blonde guy, right? Coffee time- don't. Okay, um, coffee time. You know, Dad loves coffee. Gonna bring myself something black as midnight on a moonless night. I'll brew myself. I put on a fresh pot and work on a few word jumbles while I wait for it to brew. Okay, guys, sorry. We're making a coffee. Goodbye. I'll be back. And don't listen. I see coffee. I need to make coffee, okay? I'm a dad. I'm daddy male. And I want to make a coffee. Okay, that's fair. I'm 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 role playing, right? I'm role playing in the game, and if he has a coffee in the game, I should have a coffee in real life. Yeah, guys, that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, Joseph is the guy that experimented on kids. Huge. <laughs> I think it was Mary who did it long, but true. He probably lobotomized the twins. Hmm. Coffee. Make sure it's no decaf. I don't. I I tried decaf for a, for like what a month, and I, it tasted so bad. Like genuinely, decaf just doesn't taste good. It's fucked up like that. Because you're just not tasting the caffeine, man. But yes, anyway. Um, I'm going to make coffee. I'll be back.
Papa Mail is back. Hello, how are we doing? Hi, I have the black coffee. But I don't exactly have a black, because I'm not brewing proper coffee. It, it is instant coffee, so... You can't really have instant coffee, like, black instant coffee, because it just tastes shit. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I always have it with two teaspoons of sugar, so one teaspoon of coffee versus two teaspoons of sugar. I used to have it with a lot of milk, but unfortunately, I cut, well... For better or for worse, I cut milk. Um, I still enjoy coffee. Um, but I, yeah. I, 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 to my preference, instant coffee, I would prefer to have milk. I've always been a lot of milk, yeah. Like, I would do, like, what? 50-50? 50, 50, 50 water, 50 milk? Something like that. Like, I could, I could easily have 200, 300 milliliters of milk. 300 milliliters of, of milk in my coffee, per cup of coffee. Which, at that point, is basically just a latte, I will fully admit, but... Um, I just like the creamy milkiness of the taste of the coffees, it's just good. Those words uttered by someone uh, alone would have summoned Milkman. <laughs> Milkman is resting. Milkman, Milkman doesn't believe in relationships. Milkman lived in a time when, when he, he had he only cared about delivering the milk. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, why did I say relationship? What does that have to? Because he doesn't care about daddy dating. That's that's why. Milkman is on that grind. Yes, he does. He doesn't want to come out and deal with with daddy dating. Milkman don't. Milkman don't want to deal with any of this nonsense. Um, what is this clip that Yoshi's done? Daddy mail confirmed. Are you holding it against my will that daddy mail needs to happen? You okay, I'm a dad. I'm daddy mail, and I want to make a coffee. Okay, that's fair. I'm happy, okay, I'm a dad. I'm daddy mail, and I want to make a coffee. I will okay, preface that fair. I have no kids. Okay. For the love of God, <laughs> there is there is no mommy mail to have kids. Okay, fucking, I'm never saying that again in my life. Jesus Christ, it's fucking the cringiest thing I think I could ever have said. Uh, or dating in general. I don't think he, uh, I, I don't think he's Brooks from One Piece. Well, Brooks, Brooks technically can't be in a relationship, but he, but he always likes seeing, he only likes women's, like, panties. So, I don't know. Ayo, so, wait, what, what are you, what are you waffling on about, Yoshi? I heard that. Um, heard what? That I have no kids, there's no mummy <laughs> You can't- well, there is- there is no mummy male, therefore I cannot have- I cannot have kids. There is no kids. Kids are not born. <laughs> mummy male? <laughs> like, you need a mummy male to have kids with a daddy male, <laughs> so you have kitty males. I, fuck you, degenerate weirdos in chat, man. More I think- more I think of Brooks, more I regret not buying official One Piece poker cards. True. So my sister was, uh, I, I mentioned it, she went- she went to Japan. She's still in Japan right now, I believe. And, um, I don't- she may have bought me something. She- she's very nice. She, she asked me if I wanted anything. I'm not the kind of person that asks for anything. I asked for, a uh, the copy of, um, Shonen Jump, but... That's- that's it. That- that- like, I want a weekly copy of Shonen Jump. That's all I got. That's all I wanted. But uh, she went into One Piece World, and she's not a manga or, or anime watcher, so... She- she might have just went in and took a photo to show me, but if she bought me something, that'd be really nice. I should have asked her to give me some of the wanted posters. Because I fucking love the wanted posters. I- I'd put them on my wall. Absolutely. Um... How are males created the copy of the Dragon Slayer? You don't have kids? No problem, we can make some? What the fuck is it? Okay, you degenerates in chat, you need to fucking calm down. What is it? Y'all, y'all are being weird. You're creating some weird fucking cult here now. Where it's like, praising the fucking streamer. I need, I need to put you guys in place. This is fucking getting too much. Come on, chat. What the fuck? And I'm calling you out specifically, Kitsu and Yoshi. Especially Kitsu. You are being fucking weird. Come on, this is not, this is not how you talk to a streamer. What the fuck, guys? Come on. You all need to chill. I, I thought men would be weirder in my chat. No, it's the women. It's the women that are crazy. When I said accepting a degenerate um, nature, I also meant to overcome it. Fucking hell. Tee hee. Put me in my. <clears throat> I need this fucking coffee. Christ almighty. It's too hot right now, though. God damn it. I'm, ign I'm ignoring chat until fucking y'all can calm down. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go hang out with this Craig guy. Maybe he'll freaking calm it down. 
There is one way out, and it's not talk and <laughs> not talk and ignore chat. Yeah, true, fucking true. Okay, yes, I do have the coffee. I'm gonna let it cool. Let us sit for a bit. Hey, this one spells sorrow. That's a bit ominous. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it head on. No, are you ready for the thing that we're gonna do today? The thing that you promised you'd do? Honey, I already told you that I'm not gonna throw away my Tom Clancy novels. Tom- Really? We have a collection of Tom Clancy? It's kinda- kinda weird, but cool. They're just stacked in living room. Um, that's a weird sentence. Th they are. They are just stacked- you would have to sit in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over and you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. The tea party, Dad. Oh, nope, I don't remember that. Craig's kids. That hand-drawn invitation. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of computer paper, inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. They're, they, they spelled cordially wrong. Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going, yeah. I only have one pair of going outside pants. I need to buy more clothes, good fucking damn it. I can go outside in sweatpants. Nothing's stopping me. Mm. Dad, just... Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Put on some uh, outside pants or fuck authority. What the hell, man? <laughs> what, are the, what are these choices? Go on, ignore me. See what happens. I will, ig I will for the most part... Um... Like... I, I will not ignore you, but I will ignore the weird messages. That goes to everybody. I, I ignore when James does the weird the weird daddy stuff as well. It's odd. It's peculiar. It's not normal. I have only suit pants and home pants. No going outside pants. What the fuck? That's kind of odd, but fair enough. Long, fair enough. Um, yeah, we'll put on going outside pants. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still, yeah, I think it's fair. Huh. Well, okay. Oh, wow. These kids are all, like, pretty old. Hello, thank you for coming to our tea party. Also, they're all baseball players. <laughs> that makes sense. They like sports, I guess. I do my best bow and present my daughter, who thanks them with a curtsy. This way, please, says Hazel. Oh, hi. Hello. Hugo's and his daughter are here, too. Brian and Hazel lead us to a small table with tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals, and Matt and his daughter, Carmenista, are here, too. Matt raises a comically small plastic teacup at me. Hey, dude. How's the tea? Hey. The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmenista. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. Please have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. Mm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this chair. Hi, everyone. I turn to see Daisy. Wait, oh, everybody's here. What the hell? I turn to see Daisy and Brian into the backyard and take a seat next to us. Sorry, we're late. Daisy made me put on my going outside pants. Yeah, I get you, but yep. Mm -hmm. See you, Amanda. <laughs> see you, Amanda. Amanda gives me a knowing look and I return an obliging wink. She rolls her eyes. Is that really something your daughter had to pressure you into, Brian? I give Amanda another even more exaggerated wink. She rolls her eyes even harder. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Actually, it's a common misconception that high tea was appreciated by nobles. Oh, we can say that because of we hung out with um with, with Damien. That's so cool. Dad, shut up. Now, if you all put on your designated ti tiaras, there are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plates. Well, except for Brian's, he he uses a softball helmet. His head is so big. <laughs> Oh, we ran out of tiara. Oh, okay. I don't think this is gonna fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. Whoa. Brian tries to balance the ill-fitting softball helmet on top of his head, but he immediately tumbles off in into the bushes. Ah. I'll get that later. Hey, everybody. Kai comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. T sandwich cookies? Also, Bro always has his fucking, like, phone strapped, so, he, like, he knows his heartbeat at all times. What the fuck? Or blood pressure and shit. Dad, is the tea ready? Mm. Well, because oh, yeah, he also has a watch. I got it. Is he just fucking? Does he use both to fucking? Know? Oh, right, no. This is really just like it's a listen to music and stuff, right? That's why you'd stop your phone like that. Oh uh, yeah, it's been um uh, steeping for a while now. Awesome. Oh. Would you girls like to serve your guests tea? No, thank you. We'd much appreciate our servants' help. Oh my god, Jesus! Craig leans over to me. Nice. That's me. Yeah, I figured, buddy. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm, awfully fluorescent foot here. I click my teacup with mats and take a sip. Hey. Good lemonade. It's tea. Oh. Right, very good tea. I lean over to Amanda who's happily enjoying her 
tea. What did you, what did you kids put into this tea? Something a little bit spicy? What the fuck? What is this? That's fair, but like the suit pants and home pants, I'm assuming. Um, uh, you will see me wear Kira's suit in the summer at 40 degrees Celsius. Buddy, how do you manage that? Fuck that. Holy crap. I, I don't think I can... Uh, actually, no, I say that I couldn't do that. I genuinely easily could do that. I, I, yeah, I just always prefer wearing pants, like, even in summer. I just don't like how I look. I don't like my chubby legs wearing shorts. I don't like it, so I like pants. I like the look of them. Robert was designated to make the lemonade. He put whiskey in it. Oh, yeah, Robert's not here. We've not seen Robert's kid. That's weird. Why is he a daddy, though? Does he just have the, the vibe, the aura of a daddy? Um, I lean over to Amanda. So, what do we do at tea parties? We enjoy the splendors of upper-class society, father. She tacks, takes a dainty bite of a sandwich cookie. Marvelous. So, the meeting of the princesses has been called to order. Here, here. But I'm a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff, and I have, like, a really cool sword. <laughs> Can I be a space princess? I'll allow it. And I'll be Rockstar Princess. I'm also Space Princess. Can there be more than one? Space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a Space Princess too. Dad, what are you? Do I get to be a princess? Duh. Well, I guess that makes me History Channel Princess, Hacker Princess, or Rude Boy Princess. Hacker Princess actually sounds badass. That sounds like a fucking Honkai character. I look horribly uh, without a suit on, so that's why I, I wear. That's what I wear most of the time. See, I, I look like a fashionable hobo. It's how I describe. My friends always make fun of me because even when we like go to the shops, I'm like, oh, give me a minute, because like I want to like look like I'm not, you know, a fucking a disgruntled sleaze bag who just w uh, woke up out of bed. Okay, even, even though that's what I am, to be fair. Um, so like you know. I, I, I put my pants on and and I like wearing my flannel jacket because it's just it's just a thing and I always wear my satchel because I like my satchel in any situation I can have a bag a satchel bag men men are too afraid to wear bags in modern society you just need the right bag right you know women get purses men get satchels or you I've seen like little little bags you can have as, as a guy as well you know something like that Q, uh, QU is my inspiration for my suits base choice base choice. Um, but, but yeah, like, I, I like to, to wear a little bit, even when I go outside normally. A little spoiler why Robert's kid isn't around, if you want. No, thank you. Let's hopefully we find out. I hope it's not they're dead. <laughs> I, I, I think we're going to hang out with Robert, so we'll, hopefully we'll find out, I'm assuming then. If that's, is it a spoiler that I can learn, or is it a spoiler I should have learned already? Nothing bad, don't worry. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find out eventually, right? I'm assuming... Maybe it's like the bar scene. If we went to the bar scene, we would have found out. I'm thinking Johnny Boy mentioned uh, is his kid. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. You learn it on the third date, I think. Okay, we'll have to make a save and do Damien and Roberts. But I'm doing Damien's first. He's my he's my number one. He's my goat. Um, but yeah. Anyway, TLDR. Yeah. So I like to present myself at least functioning outside. Because I just like the way I look. It, especially if I'm going to shops, I'll bring my satchel. If I'm going somewhere else, I wouldn't bring my satchel. Because it's kind of irrelevant. There's no need for it. His kid is his gun. True. <laughs> say hello to my little boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say Hacker Princess. Because I think that sounds cool. <laughs> I surf the information super highway on my cyber deck. Hacking in a mainframe. It sounds like Cyberpunk, man. And unleashing havoc on the mega core of the dystopian Neo Metropolis. That's, that's, is that not Cyberpunk? What the fuck? I also rollerblade everywhere. I think I'll be landscaper and general contracting princess. Barista princess, reporting for duty. Nice. Hey everybody, CrossFit princess here. Now, now, not now, servant. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be you serving me. We sip tea for a little longer and then the girls uh, run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock warrior princesses, I think. They grow up so fast. It was like yesterday that I was helping Amanda throw her own tea parties. Did she make you a servant too? You betcha. Carmen Easter made me actually brew tea for hers. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. <laughs> oh. Pitfall, your custom blends are amazing. That hibiscus one you gave me a, wh uh, a while back was choice. Ah, oh. oh, thanks. Hey. It's really nice the girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. Hey. We are too. Amanda's been kind of a role model to them, you know? 
I hadn't even realized, and I don't even know if Amanda does either, but I guess they're right. All of the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with them. Oh, I'm so proud of her. You better not uh, proud dad cry at this tea party, man. Okay, okay, okay. No proud, no okay. Wow, this is just Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. I brought extra wood, uh, word jumbles if anyone wants to kill some time while the girls play. Aww. The day rolls on and the girls all get tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, uh, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. We all clean up and have uh, help put away the tea sets and tables and head out as Daisy and Kamenees to fall asleep on their dad's shoulders. Hmm? Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, Hacker Princess. Huh? They will remember this name. You want dinner? Huh. Nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously, simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Mm -hmm. But in a good way, but also in kind of a scary way. How so? Mm -hmm. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is this because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? Huh? I corrupted her, Dad. She secondhand smokes now. What the fuck? What? They're, well, okay, that's not- that's- listen, that's slippery slope logic. That's- the F-bomb did not make her a second hand smoke. What the fuck? Wait a second, Sony Silverhand had a cyber deck and it was in a band? Uh, and was in a band. Uh, man male chose a- <laughs> man male. Chose a cyber deck and was in a band. Oh, we are- we were in a band, true, what the fuck? <laughs> Ma Daddy male is- is Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> Well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Mm. Shucks, Pops. I ruffle Amanda's hair. Aww. Welcome. He all down. Depends on the one. Dads. Okay, now I only have- Oh my god. He- I do one hangout and he gives me two more! Oh my god. Oh, we already- did... Okay, we did this one though. Okay, cool. Um... I feel like we can do all the Craig hangouts. Because I think we just hang out with the kids. I think that's fair. I'll do it. No, no, no. That one we already did, right? Rob invited me over for dinner. I know it's kind of for a part of my number, bro. I've gotten this guy. I know this guy. We used to can't get a burrito. I know it's gonna be super awkward. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I love food, especially love food that's free. Don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure, yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. Why is he sweating everywhere? This fucking actually it is weird. Okay, let's hang out with Robin and Craig. That's a fair hangout. Robin and Craig. I think that's a good idea. So you were Keanu Reeves then? <laughs> Hell yeah. Eat that dinner. Really hope that's a sweater relief. That doesn't sound too bad. I could definitely go for free food, but why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? I hurry up and reply before my dad brain can work itself into a paranoia spiral. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. Craig and I decide to meet up before heading over to Robert's place. Bum, bum. Craig's waiting on my porch, bottle of white wine in hand. Okay. Yeah, like how he's, he's always in his like, like workout attire. Mayo, boy, am I glad to see you. Likewise, man, classy of you to bring wine. Mm. Oh, it's not wine, it's sparkling apple cider, Robert. Robert ha literally has a wine cellar, so I think he's good. <laughs> what the fuck? Of course Robert has a wine cellar, goddammit. Why did we have to go to the fucking store and buy some wine? Let's just go back to his place. Wow. Or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm genuinely unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can never tell with him. Hmm. Thank God it's not just me. I never know. Nice. He's so deadpan about everything. I usually just laugh it off, but man, that guy is an enigma. We start walking over to Robert's house. Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere doubts about whether he even knows how to shave properly or iron his shirts. I feel like you learn to cook after you learn those two first. Um, I barely know how to shave properly. I use an electric razor and I don't iron my shirts. So ironically enough, I'd say, but do I know how to cook? I'm getting better. If you asked me six months ago, I I would say, oh no, definitely not. I feel like I've done I've gotten a bit better lately in terms of cooking meals. So, ironically enough, I think cooking I'm probably the best at here. Shaving is just easy with electrical razors. So, I know how to cook and iron my shirt. I probably know how to iron my shirt. I've just never done it. So I guess I don't know how to do it. But I reckon I could. <laughs> Bro. One time I saw him grab a hot dog from a trash can. What the fuck? Kind of base though. Mm. I mean, it was at the very top of the trash can, like sitting above it. But still, if we were on trial, I think the ju jury would define that as in the trash. In his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing food from the top of the trash before. Listen, if it's fully eaten, not fully eaten. Like, if it hasn't been eaten at all, 
and it's been thrown on the trash, you wasted food. Why? If that son of a bitch bought food and wasted it. That's not wasting food then, okay? It's free. I'm an idiot when shaving. I have marks on my thumbs from the red. Wait, on your thumbs? I think you like your face. I need to shave, by the way. I turned my camera on before. I think just because it's so cold. I didn't realize, like, my fucking... It, it grows so quickly. On the camera, it looks worse than it is. That's the thing. I think the camera just fucking makes me look fucked up when I turn the, the, the webcam on. It's really not that much. I guess I'll, I'll do a, a quick shave tomorrow. Well, today, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, free food's free food. If they've not, if not, no one else has eaten it, then I think it's fine. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it. Yeah, hell yeah. True, maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're holding ourselves back. Mm. Mm. We arrive at Robert's house and ring the doorbell, but the doorbell don't, won't chime. Mm. Must be broken. Craig knocks on the door a few times. So when does Robert have a dog? We do know he has a dog. We went on a date with him, male. I mean, no, we went on a date with Damien, and he had a dog. I don't know, that's weird. I can hear Robert just inside. One second! Hmm. This is uncharted territory, man. What if he's the one making barking noises and there is no dog? I know he's a dog. This game has really weird continuity. <laughs> uh, so let me explain. My beard and stash grew a little too much and had to shave. Uh, the razor couldn't cut because of the hair, so I tried getting it out with my thumb and cut my thumb. Oh, God. Jesus, dude. Be careful. More careful. Oh, my Lord. Yikes. <laughs> But yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I get I get you. <laughs> Robert's Aroo, woof, woof. Don't say that, we're not even inside yet. Oh. Finally, the door opens. Robert looks a little surprised to see oh. me. Man, I didn't know you'd be tagging along. Oh. Did Craig not tell Robert I was coming? Come on, Craig. I can leave if there's mm. not No, it's fine. Come on in. Oh, okay. I'm glad we hung out with Robert. I feel like this would be really weird if we hadn't hung out with Robert yet. We enter Robert's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, but still nice. Make yourselves at home. Is bro rich? Bro has crime money. But it's just fucking trash. It's like messy as hell. We can still hear barking from the other room. I didn't know you have a dog, Robert. Oh yeah, that's Betsy. That's the dog's name. I have to put her up when guests are over. Um, she'll calm down in a nice. bit. What kind of dog is she? Pitbull rescued her from a dog fighting ring a few back, a few, a few years back. You said you found her on the road. It's just like... She hates strangers. If I let her out right now, I'd probably have to take you both to the ER. Mm. Craig and I make eye contact. He raises an eyebrow at me. This is good. He always lies about everything. I, I would not... Like, Robert has cool stories, but he's not... He's not a guy I would ever genuinely want to be friends with, I'll be honest. If he's just lying all the time. Uh, my hands have three scars in total, so what's more scars? Who cares? I don't have any scars, but I did my, burn myself, like, what, two, three weeks ago. Just because... So, long story short, our air fryer broke. And, and I still had some, like, freezer stuff that I needed to cook. And you, normally, I'd use the air fryer. I wouldn't use the oven. But this time, I'm like, okay, well, I just want to get rid of it out of the freezer. So, um, I used the oven. And I haven't, like, used the oven in, like, what, a year? Because I just never really used the oven. Um, and then I remember when I was taking the food out when it was done. Like, there's, like, a little, very, like, a kind of, like, a little dip, a little slope at the very end of, uh, like, the tray you pull out. And, um, like, my hand, like, just the kind of brushed underneath it. So... It, it's it's faded away now. It's fine, but it was just like um, just at the very like just kind of above my knuckles, like just kind of like my my on my right hand, my finger and my middle finger, sorry my 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 pointer finger, you know the second one, the the one next to the thumb, and my middle finger is just kind of like a little burn scar there. But it's like faded away now, so it's fine. It's gone away. Be careful what the fuck. No, it, yeah, I know it's okay. It's it's okay. I was just like um, like I just didn't really like. I think I just didn't hold the. I had a, a towel as well, but I just. I think it brushed it just a little bit too much because it kind of like went, uh, like my hands went underneath the, the, the tray. You got some of your knuckle, f uh, knuckle fingerprints removed. Now I need to burn those fingerprints. <laughs> um, but I don't, I've got no cuts or anything. I also have a very high, like, heat resistance, burn resistance because I worked at freaking KFC for like four years. So it's not really like an issue that bothers me. Um, but if I look, like, there's there's an indent in my finger where, like, I think I cut myself at work accidentally one time. And I still see the indent after after all these years. So, like, cut. Like, yeah. Like, you can see the cut there. Um, And I think I just, like, it was just, like, some metal that was just sticking out at work. And that one, that one's just above, like, um 
the middle joint of my right hand middle finger what is up with this pointer finger on my right hand that keeps getting uh injured the most and i don't think i have any other cuts or burns or anything like that when i was a dumb kid my tongue was about to have a hole oh my god bro what the fuck still don't understand how that's insane my guy um when i was when i was a young boy um i ran into the christmas tree when i was five um and a glass bauble shattered in my face directly between my eyes um thankfully nothing that bad happened but to this very day i have a cut across my nose like i have an indent in my in my uh, in my nose and people always think that it's from my glasses but no that's not how that works because the glasses have like the two little things that holds the glasses above the 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 cut is from like yeah where like it, yeah it just cut me on my nose didn't break bones at a three meter fall wait you fell three meters You fell three meters and didn't break a bone? What the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Long story. <laughs> See, nothing much ever happened to me. I think maybe I broke my leg or my arm when I was, like, really young. Like, two or three. But I don't know. I don't remember that, that, or know that story. I know my, my sister, like, broke her arm or something. Oh, that's when I say broke. Like, it's not like, it was probably wasn't, like, a massive break. You know what I mean? But, like, in a sling at least for a bit. But, like, oh, that was, like, the trampoline, I think. But, um, yeah, hashtag never broken a bone. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe I did, but I, I don't know the story. I don't remember it. It's not in my memory, so... It was, like, too... I was too young when that happened, I guess. Anyway. Oh, okay. Mm. Anyways, dinner should be ready in a minute. Hope you guys, uh, like also buko. I don't know what that is, but sure, I'll try it. Robert leaves the room, presumably to go to the kitchen. Craig leans in and whispers, mm. Was the dog fighting thing real, or was he kidding? I don't know. Hey! What's that? What's also Buko? I don't know. Did he make up that word? Until I have also Buko in front of me, we can only assume so. We sit in silence for a second, taking in Robert's living room. Are we about to get sword? Okay, Robert's not that bad. Come on. Hmm. Nah, usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walked into this one. Nice. Robert finally walks into the room carrying three plates of steaming food like a waiter. I don't have a dining table. Don't trust them. So we're eating here. Why don't you trust dining tables? What the fuck? Oh. Also, I don't have real people plates. Hope that's okay. Robert sets plates in front of us on the coffee table. I still can't tell what it is. Looks like meat, maybe? Lots of sauce? I can make out some vegetables. I think that might be rice, but it could also be pasta. Guess there's only one way to find out. What is... What? How do we not know what it looks like? I take a bite. Oh my god. I take another bite. The medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender and the risotto, I think that's what it is. It's so creamy. Robert, this is really incredible. You cooked this? I fished it out of a dumpster behind a restaurant. Or at least I think it was a restaurant. Can you believe people just throw this stuff away? Okay, he's trolling. I almost gag. I'm kidding. I look over at Craig who looks wary but still has his mouth full. He gives Robert a thumbs up. Glad you like it. Why did you learn how to cook like this? Worked at a restaurant in Spain for a hot sec. Fucking... Robert Law is insane, man. So I was in a scooter. There was a ramp that at the end had a seven centimeter wall border. The scooter used uh, that uh, the scooter used the, the to make me a, a a trebuchet bullet, and the fall was three minutes. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so you got launched. That's fucked up. Jesus. <laughs> is he messing with us? I decided to play along. You lived in Spain? After I dropped out of college, I went backpacking through Europe, crashing on couches, sleeping in hostels, wherever. Totally broke, worked a couple of uh, odd jobs whenever I could to scrape together some cash. One night, I mean dinner at this little restaurant just out outside of Madrid. I go to pay and uh, realize I spent the last of my money on booze the night before. I'm in the middle of ditching when the manager catches me and puts me to work in the kitchen. Long story short, they ended up liking me so much that they offered me a job. Why not, right? Started living with some distant relatives on my mother's side. Over the course of two years, I worked my way up from bus boy to sous chef learned a lot craig and i wait for the punchline what night watchman did he swindle to get back to the states who did he con in a game of poker in the back room of a speakeasy for safe passage in the crew quarters of a cargo ship hey anyway i still love to cook <laughs> i don't know what's real anymore but this food's so so good i kind of don't care that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. To be totally honest, I wasn't expecting uh, gourmet cooking from here, especially not serving on paper plates. Oh. 
I don't care about presentation. The food is good. It should speak for itself. Based. Based, Robert. Okay, this is where this is where I get I I will I will get heat for this. It's fine. I know I'm a I'm a streamer. I'm an entertainer. It's okay for chat to make fun of me. Um, I just gotta deal with it. Um, so my friends will always make fun of me for this, and I don't care because I think convenience is good. But um, I my main meal that I made for a very long time, and I haven't made this in like two years. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry. I stopped. I got better. But my main meal I made like two years ago, and like I have it like nearly every night or every other night anyway. I would cook my rice in my rice cooker. It would finish cooking. I would put some veggies in it, a can of tuna, soy sauce, and a spoonful of mayonnaise. And I would mi mix it all around, and I would eat it from the rice cooker, like, the, like, pot. I'm a functional member of society, please believe me. My ho I've also heard a little bit, but not that much. Um, I think he looks cool. <laughs> he looks to he, he uh, likes to cook meth and food. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. So yeah, um, and it was yummy. It was it, it you know carbs, protein, uh, veggie fiber, and you know uh, salt and and flavoring and and fat. It's all there, all the necessities of life in one meal, in a, in a in a pot in a rice cooker pot. And it tasted really good, and I, I like mayo, because I'm white, so I like mayo. <laughs> um, and I like it being creamy. But I definitely don't recommend people do that, it's kind of weird, I do fully admit. <laughs> yeah, let's keep, let's keep learning more about this Robbie boy. This also Buko is screaming for itself. And paper plates are just as good as regular plates if you double them up. Hmm. Hey. Is it bad if I ask for seconds? Mm. Help yourself, but save room for dessert. I make lemony, lemon berry uh, savarin. Oh. oh. Well, aren't you just full of... Craig looks over at me. Hey. Surprises. <laughs> Robert winks. You bet I am. Oh. You can come over for dinner anytime. Hey. Craig. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go get seconds. Me too. After consuming way more Oscar Buco than my body could handle, and then really uh, ensuring a later food coma with a generous serving of whatever Savarin was, Craig and I decide to head out. Mm. Thanks for coming. I'm uh, I'm making an attempt to be more social. Aw, good job, Robert. Well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Especially if there's Oscar Buco involved. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's better to be what early than late. That's very good advice. That. Correct. There we go, Craig. Okay, one more Craig ha hang out, and then we hang out with Robert again. I think that's fair. As a wise man once said, "Why people can cook only one thing better than uh, better than others: casseroles and desserts." And that is crystal. What can only cook one thing better than casseroles and desserts, and that is crystal amphetamine. That is, that is. I'm not gonna learn to cook that. So maybe, th maybe that. Okay. God fucking damn it. Yes. Yes. No. I'm a streamer. I'm. No, would never do such a thing. What the fuck? <laughs> Lamau. No. Bad. Mailman does not encourage drug making or consuming. <laughs> okay. Okay. One more Craig hangout, dude. I got the runs. Okay. We're gonna run. I don't want to run with him, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll try. Go running. And then Robert, and then we we ended off with Damien. What the fuck is this? Huh? Ryan, Megan, Joseph, Craig, Mail, Eric, Ali, Aaron. The gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We'll feel like we're running outdoors. Whoa. It's Sims or fuck. It's like Wii Sports Resort. You can see other runners on your screen too. Let's try it out together. Uh, other runners? Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry. We're here to cheer each other on. I'll be I'll be right there with you. Nice. Just get a rhythm going. Keep your heart rate up, but don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. What is this a game? What the fuck? Run that dash. Oh, I just hold it. Oh, no, no, no. I need to... How do I do this? Okay, I've got it, guys. I've got it. I think I got it. I don't...
I don't know how the fuck this works, man. What the fuck? How does this fucking work, man? Oh, I can just click. Oh, I can just click. Hey. And just click. Okay, okay. Now we got it. Okay. This is fucking dreadful. This game. I, I it didn't even teach me. I just had to work it out on the on the on the fly. Oh, we're going. We're all right. We're all right. This fucking gameplay, man. This is actually Wii Sports Resort. I know. I know. On the Wii, Wii Sports Resort had a game like this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Also, why is it fucking sweat emo, emo and then the the eggplant emo? It's fucking sus as hell. Also, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> my hair is getting a little tired. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm assuming, yeah, you can only maintain this speed until a certain point and then you get that, that blue bar rush again. There we go, yep. Okay, I think we like we got the rhythm now anyway, we're good. How long do we keep this up for though? Like when the fuck does it <laughs> when does it end? How many laps? I think we're beating some people. We're beating Will, Tyler, Ryan, Megan. Yay! Okay, so that's when he does like a thing, like we kind of speed up. Okay. This is like. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, man, I swear to god. Okay, we're going up here now. We didn't go up before we went down before. There it is. We could have done way better, but you know what? We, we would. We get in the groove. Yay! Finished. I'm not gonna reload that, but I know we. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? Huh? I did that well. What the fuck? Okay. I thought it was gonna be like B or A or something, because like you know we we took a while to start. That's crazy. Um, it's just we supposed to resort 120 BPM. That's kind of too much, sir. And we were getting it up to 150, bro. Way to go. Welcome. You've got dads. Please tell me Craig doesn't want to hang out more. Okay, Robert, we're gonna hang out again, buddy. Message. Mm. I had a lot of fun with Robert the last time we hung out, but I'm beginning to wonder if he's dodging me. I've tried messaging him a few times, and that book says he hasn't even read them. I think he just doesn't use online stuff. I haven't even seen him come out of his house, actually. Is he okay? I decided to send him one last message, feeling that this will produce the same results. Hey man, don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I walk away from my computer because at this point I know he's not messaging me back anytime soon. I linger in the kitchen, I'm all caught up on work, the house is relatively clean, maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. Ah, oh, I'll bake her favourite pie. I root through the pantry and pull out all the ingredients. This is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was a kid. I lost the actual recipe card a long time ago, but I think I'll be able to remember how to bake it. I start mixing the ingredients together for the crust until I get a nice dough. I uh, throw some cherries into a saucepan to make the filling. Normally, I don't like to multitask in the kitchen. This cherry pie is a piece of cake. <laughs> literally, literally pie. It's a piece of pie. <laughs> I'm making a pie. Oh man, I can even remember what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, oh, I can never remember. I'm pretty sure it's 375 degrees, but I could be wrong. Who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to this pie. My special twist on my grandma's recipe includes a secret ingredient that not even Amanda knows about. It really makes the cherries extra flavorful. God, why can't I remember what the secret ingredient is? Oh my god, more cherries, salt, almond extract. What the fuck? I mean, those all sound kind of normal, but like... It's still kind of like a little, a little weird. <laughs> um, salt? I think salt, maybe. I think salt could be a good secret recipe. Salt? Yeah. 
Oh, it's salt, duh. Just a pinch of salt to bring out the natural sweetness of the cherries. Yeah, oops, I accidentally poured a little too much in. Way too much in, I'm sure it's fine. Baking is an art and some of the most beautiful arts are made from mistakes. Fucking Christ. I finally get the pie in the oven. How long am I supposed to leave it in there? 50 minutes? I'll just wing it. This is gonna be trash. Man, he's gonna be so excited that kid loves a good pie. Yeah, good pie, not a bad pie. I have a seat at the kitchen table and do word jumbles until Amanda comes home. I can hear the door slam open. Yo, Pops, what smells like pie in here? It's pie, sweetie. <laughs> Amanda darts over to the oven and looks inside. Yes. yes. Hey, it, it's not done. Be patient. Mm. What's your angle here? What? Huh? Pies are an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? Fine, you caught me. Nothing? <laughs> I've been leaving, leading a double life. Nothing, silly dumb idiot. Nothing. Nothing. Kinda dad beg his daughter a pie for no reason other than to make her happy. I don't trust you. Wait a few more minutes before taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on a rack to cool and guard it so Amanda doesn't dig into it before it's ready. Mm -hmm. Huh, what? Mm -hmm. Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, that's just me taking artistic license on what cherry pie means to me emotionally. I'm just saying this because, you know, it seems like you might have baked this pie incorrectly. And you're currently, right now, trying to pass it off as a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's art, sweetie. Was it odd when you accidentally baked a whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12th birthday cake? What the fuck? Well, it's... Was it odd when you tried to make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas? What the... Huh? What? Hell... What? Okay, we are cooking meth or something. We're cooking fucking... We're, we're cooking gas bombs. Is what we're cooking in the kitchen. How do you try to make a brownie but make chlorine gas? Today on Gutenberg Trials, man mail. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like a war crime cooking here. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Was it art when you just eat the pie, Panda? Oh. I cut us a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the sides and the buttery crust glistens. I watch as Amanda takes mm. a bite. Ugh. What's wrong? Is, is it not good? Oh. Amanda winces and fans her mouth. Oh. No, no, I just burned the heck out of the roof of my mouth. This pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. She's crying. <laughs> I breathe a sigh of relief and take a bite. She's right. The pie is pretty incredible as it always is. Oh, okay, we did good. <laughs> I'm really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. I got a few dad tricks up in my dad's sleeve. Yeah. Maybe fathers aren't as bumbling and stupid as the media makes uh, us out to be. Maybe we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Hey. Dad, your sleeve is on fire. I run to the sink and put myself out. Pride will be my undoing. What the fuck? And then rank. How did we get caught on fire? Did we leave the oven on? Uh, the, not the oven. The f what? There was no open flame. How did we set ourselves on fire? There was no open flame. The oven doesn't have fire in it. It would be the stove. Did we bump the stove? The pie has napalm, uh, probably, yeah. What the fuck just happened there, guys? What the fuck? That's so weird. How did we get on fire? Hum uh, what is it? Uh, spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> I went around, clean up the kitchen and play a little more living room uh, hoops. Oh, the hoops. Well, she retreats to her room to do homework. I go back to my word jumbles. Hey, this one spells cat. That's the fucking easiest word jumble ever. Okay. The rest of the evening trickles by, we eat dinner, I help Amanda with one of her scholarship applications, and we both start getting ready for bed. I decide to check dad book one last time before I climb into bed. Still nothing from Robert, huh? Hope he's okay. I hope he's okay too. I turn out the lights and lie down. Hey. Oh. Mail. Hey. Hey, mail. Hey, I'm outside. Come outside. Oh, what is that? I, just, I was just on the verge of falling asleep. I climb out. Why do they go to my fucking house? It's kind of creepy, bro. You gotta tell someone before you do that. <laughs> Weird as hell. <laughs> what is that? I was just on the verge of falling asleep. I climb out of bed and try to identify the source of the dinghy. My computer screen illuminates the dark room. I walk over to it, ready to turn it off when I notice what's happening on screen. Don't make me honk. I will honk. Get out of here. I look out my window and sure enough, there's Robert leaning up against his pickup truck in my driveway. I open my door to try and figure out what's going on. Hey. Hey? I... Wanna hang? I was kind of sleeping. Uh... That's no fun. Mm -hmm. Come hang out. <laughs> this guy would not be my friend in real life, by the way. This is fucking... This is like the exact opposite of, of a guy I would like. The stories are cool, though. That's the thing. Um, I would argue that sleeping is very fun, but I don't have to be anywhere in the morning. Might as well live a little. Sure. <sighs> cool. You plan on going out like that? I look down and realize that I am, in fact, not wearing pants. 
I mean, I don't mind. Right, one second. I run inside and throw on my going out pants, shoes, and a jacket. I grab my keys and me rub it back outside. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Hop in. I jump into the passenger seat of his old red pickup truck. I have to move a few empty cigarette packets and gas station receipts out of the way before I can sit. Robert silently starts the car and we drive out of the cul-de-sac. Oh. You like Tom Waits? Is that a is that a music guy? Also, why the fuck is it shaking so much, bro? I'm gonna get a goddamn seizure. What is this, dude? Huh? Love Tom Waits? Tom who? Hoist that rag, baby. Is that a song? Hoist that rag, baby. <laughs> Oh my god! I look before I can answer. Robert turns on the radio. Yep, that's Tom Waits, alright. He lights a cigarette and cracks the windows. We drive together in silence. Okay, this is a vibe though. This is a cool vibe. So where are we going? Robert doesn't respond. We're going nowhere. This this would be creepy if it was anyone else. But Robert, I'm cool with. He he's just like this. Robert. Oh, I heard you. He still doesn't answer my question. I look out the window and notice that Robert's taking us up to the highway. It's a little weird, man. I twiddle my thumbs. Well, whatever. I've got myself into... It looks like... Uh, whatever I've got myself into, it looks like I'm in for it for the night. I settle into my seat and watch streetlights pass by. I glance over to Robert, who's driving intently. He looks tired, as he always does, but there's something a bit more than that. I just can't place. Are you okay? I, li I like your car. He doesn't like, um... He doesn't like, uh... Small talk, right? He likes, uh... Silence, so we probably should just say nothing, I think. Hello, Jesus, how you doing? Welcome on in. Um, he doesn't say nothing. He loves it! I remember what Robert said about hating small talk and decided to keep my mouth shut. He notices me staring. Stop looking so nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm a little nervous. Just hang on, we're almost there. Almost where? I have no idea where we are. I think we're moving at a slight incline, but I'm not so sure. We eventually uh, come to a stop. Robbie gets out of the car and I sit for a second, unless unsure if he wants me to get out too. What are you waiting for? I hastily exit the car. Robert sits on the bed of his truck and pats the space next to him. Oh, this is kind of nice. Uh, this reminds me of fucking <laughs> cringe, cringe comparison, but like that GTA 5 when fucking Trevor goes and looks out. Ask him if he's okay. Nah, yeah, but he likes the silence. That's the thing. That's that's the thing. He, he he just he just doesn't want me to ask him. He loves it. He loves the silence. He loves it so much. And it reminds me of GTA 5, just before Trevor gets to Los Santos when he's looking for Michael. He like looks out, like on a place kinda like this. I sit down and take in the view. We're on a hill overlooking the city skyline against the bay. The cool night air rustles some trees near us as lights blink in the distance. Off to the side I can see an entrance to a dense forest. Man, it's also gorgeous. Man, just like me, I'm mailman. This is where I come to masturbate. What the fuck, Robin? What? I'm kidding. What's wrong with you? Hey. This is my little spot where I come to think. It's nice. Uh -huh. You can see the whole city from up here. It really gives you some perspective. Robert reaches behind him and pulls something out from under his jacket. It glints in the moonlight and suddenly realizes what it is. Uh -huh. Oh shit, that's a knife. Oh. Please don't stab me. Uh. Robert reaches into his pocket and pulls out a small piece of wood. Please don't stab me with that either. I'm not a vampire. I... Robert takes the knife to the piece of wood and starts carving at it. <laughs> oh, I breathe a very audible sigh of relief as Robert looks at me sideways. Do you think I was going to stab you just now? What? N no? Oh. Hate to break it to you, but I did, in fact, bring you out here to harvest your organs. <laughs> Laugh or play along? <laughs> either way, it doesn't particularly matter. Never seen this game. Is it Steam? Yeah, it's on Steam. It's actually made by Game Grumps, if you uh, know them from YouTube. This is made by Game Grumps. I'm only playing it because some people in my chat forced me to. Um, but I'm enjoying it. There's one main guy that I like. His name is Damien. He's a goth vampire kind of guy. Robert, I, I, I don't mind. I think he's interesting, but I... He's certainly not my... like. He's not a guy I would like in real life, I don't think. Yeah, we'll play along. Let's play along. Yeah, well, you think you caught me in your trap, but I knew. <laughs> for years, I've been putting the most vile junk food in my body in preparation for this day. Come at me, friend, and reap what you will. Hey. Two steps ahead of you at all times. That's how I operate. Hey. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, huh? I... Robert reaches into his pocket and pulls out a folding knife that he opens and hands to mm -hmm. me. I'm gonna warn you, the last guy had a knife fight. We've lost three fingers because he didn't know the eight basic rules of knife fighting. You're familiar, correct? Everything he says is a lie, which is fun. <laughs> eight basic rules. 
I uh, I honestly can't tell you when you're kidding. Mm. I'm so many levels of irony deep that I've forgotten what humor is. <laughs> he and I laugh. Huh. Have you ever whittle whittled before? Is that like the car thing? Considering I'm not a grandpa, no. Oh. What do you mean by that? Well, I just thought that you would have a block of wood shipped to you along with your first social credit mm. security check. May I'll have you know what, that whittling is a time-honored tradition enjoyed by the both young and old alike. That you're dismissing it before you've even tried it speaks volumes about your character. Mm. However, because I've gotten to know you for some time and have come to think of us as friends, I'm willing to attribute it to ignorance instead of malice. Huh. I nearly said that as maleless. What I'm trying to say is, go get that stick. Robin motions to a good looking stick on the ground. Perfect for potential whittling. I pick it up. Uh. The most important thing to remember while whittling is to cut with the grain, not against it. If, the cut, if you cut against the grain, the wood is going to splinter. Isn't the most important thing safety? Uh. Um, uh. No. Getting hurt comes with the territory. Look at my damn hands. This is Lom's hands. I look at his damn hands. They're calloused and covered in little white scars. They have very nice hands. Bro's hurting himself so much. Jesus Christ, you gotta look after yourself a bit by there, buddy. Come on. That's, that's fucked up. Just worried about you, buddy. You could, like, get an infection, you know? Oh. You can't make a stick omelette without breaking a few hand eggs. Uh, oh, God, this is a mini game as well. Knife that oh, wood. fucking God damn it. Okay. This is scary. How do we... What the fuck? It just immediately is broken, though. How do you do this? The fuck is... What is this? It's just a fuck... It's just completely broken. I don't... The fuck is this game, bro? What is this game? <laughs> Is this immediately broken? Maybe- Oh, is this what we're doing? Okay, maybe this is what we're supposed to be doing. Done? That's a good start. What is it? A sharp stick? A pencil? Or a knitting needle? Um... It's a pencil. Good luck riding with that. You made a highly dangerous weapon. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, it's a paddle pop stick. Tell me about this one. Popsicle stick? Tongue depressor flat is a popsicle stick. Now all you need is carve up some wooden juice, wooden fruit, and a wooden freezer. You made a popsicle stick. Okay. What the fuck? That's nothing. It's like a toothpick. It's a toothpick! What's the story here? Toothpick. You realize that you could have just picked your teeth with a knife? What the fuck is this game, bro? Egg. Hmm, what's this? Chicken nugget? I don't know. It's a chicken nugget. We don't eat that. Rob me made on it. Rob it uncomfortable. We're still going? Okay. the fuck is it? Another ch- Hmm, what's it supposed to be? A self-portrait? Louisiana. Good old Louisiana. Beautiful place. Got stabbed there once, you know. Or was it Kentucky? <laughs> uh-huh. You made a Louisiana. <laughs> what the fuck is this game, man? We're still making it. Okay, this is just like a, like a drum, drum, uh, what do you call it? The uh, drumming thing? Chopstick righty, chopstick lefty, chopstick ambidextrous, um, chopstick righty. It's a stick. Okay. I guess that's way too big for a fucking drum, uh, for a guitar. What the fuck am I trying to say? Swan? Oh, uh, it's a swan. Nice work. The meanest bird. Looks like Loch Ness. This is... 
Is this the whole fucking date? What the fuck? How are we making this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Okay, it's a full on horse. Beautiful handiwork. What do you call it? A big old dog? The spirit of the Mustang? Sir Horsington the Brave. That was the name of our daughter's horse. Let's name it that. Um, I don't have calluses. The scars are correct though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Sir Horsington. A brave and noble name for a brave and noble creature. Beautiful gift for Amanda. Aww. Okay, thank you. It's over. <laughs> Whatever the fuck was that, man? That was epic. Let me make a save as well as you. Just be safe, you know? Rob and I sit in silence for a while, carving out pieces of wood. I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's actually kind of relaxing. Yeah, I kind of was liking it. I glance over to see what Robert's working on. He's carving a smaller wooden knife. Ugh! While I'm distracted, the knife slices into my thun thumb. Blood gushes all over my little wooden carving. Oh, fucking idiot. God damn it, man. Um. Robert is lost in carving. Doesn't notice me bleeding everywhere. Uh. Robert still doesn't notice. Robert, I'm dying. I'm bleeding to death. Hmm. Robert finally looks hey. over. He reaches into a jacket again. Jesus, how much stuff does this guy keep in there? Well, Damien also kept stuff in his, in his cape. Pulls out a red bandana, he wraps it around my thumb. Hold tight. He hops off the truck and I can hear him merging around in his car. Comes back a moment later with a well-stocked first aid kit. Oh my god, at least Robert's like, prepared for everything. Robert carefully wipes all the blood off my hand and swipes a bit of an uh, antiseptic onto the cut. With surprising gentleness, he places a bit of gauze on the wound and wraps it all up. Oh, mm -hmm. you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Hands me what's left of the tube of an antiseptic. Oh. Make sure to keep that cut clean. It's uh, oddly touching and... And a little sexy? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Huh? Oh, yeah, he loves taking care of my battle wounds. That's so sexy. I guess I'm a real whittler now. Oh. That you are. Be careful, though. They're attracted to the smell of blood. Who? Who is? Wait, what? what? What's attracted to the smell of blood? Mm -hmm. Cryptids. Tons of them out here, you know? He did say he was going cryptid hunting in the graveyard. Cryptids, like Mothman and stuff? <sighs> Mothman is bullshit, but yeah, Mothman's cool. This town's a hotbed for cryptozoological occurrences. You're joking. Mm. Oh, how I wish I were. I'm a skeptic myself, or at least I thought I was. There are things in these woods that we can't possibly comprehend. I think about my entire time in this city. Aside from the occasional stray coyote, I don't think it's too uh. bad. You ever hear of the Dover Ghost? I don't think so. I... Well, let me tell you a story. Uh... I was out in the woods here on a weekend camping trip with Betsy. You don't know Betsy, but she's a big pup, pit bull. I, I do know Betsy. Real intimidated, and I feel safe around her. First night goes without incident. I get some solitude. Betsy gets to pee wherever she wants. All good stuff. Uh -huh. Second day, I get the idea into my head that I can hide deeper into the woods. Probably against my better judgment, but hey, we're just having a fun camping trip, right? So me and Betsy start marching in the morning. Uh -huh. It's a little late and we set up camp, but it's different this night. Real quiet. I can't hear the birds, the crickets, squirrels, nothing. Dead silent. Mm. Then it happens. I hear the most unholy growl I've ever heard in my life right outside my tent. Me and Betsy, we go to investigate. We look around the clearing. Nobody's there. But there's this feeling. Not sure if I can quite describe it. I know someone, something is watching us. Betsy, though, she's scared. Never seen her like that. And when she's scared, I know that I should be too. And then I see it in the distance. Mm. A man, but if something that didn't know what a man was supposed to look like made it. it it just looked wrong big arms too long for its body black eyes it just stood there and stared at me <sighs> then it disappears i hear one yell from betsy and i turn around to check on her but she's gone in a thin air i didn't sleep at all in my tent that night and i don't think i've slept right since what the fuck that was fucking crazy. That was crazy. Well, we know he's lying. Because fucking Be we Betsy was in the fucking house, dude. You're lying. <laughs> okay, you're full of shit. <laughs> you think I'm lying? <laughs> Robert pulls out his wallet and shows me a picture of a beautiful pit bull. Tell that to Betsy. They say that if you listen closely on quiet nights, nights just like tonight, you can hear the howl of the Dover ghost. A howl resonates through the woods. It doesn't sound like a regular howl. It's so guttural. Even from far away, something about it makes my skin whoa, crawl. Whoa. Okay, Robert, real funny. I turn to look at Robert, he's white as a sheet. You're messing with me, right? Huh? I was messing with you up until literally just now. I totally made that camping story up. <laughs> 
I strain my eyes to scan the forest line, trying to see where the howl originated from. Off in the distance, I see something. It's so far away, I barely can make out a shape. It looks human, but it's dragging something. Um, do you see that? We should, uh, go. What the fuck, man? Robin and I slowly back away and get into the trunk. truck. He turns off his headlights and we make a slow crawl away. Back onto the road. I'm too scared to look back. What was that? The Dover ghost, I guess. I chuckle nervously. This time he doesn't seem like he's messing with me. Or maybe someone Ill illegally dumping garbage on a wildlife preserve. Or even worse, a fucking dead body, bro. Wait, the fuck? He was right? Yeah, he was literally coming up with a story and then it happened to be true, maybe. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm. Yeah, that's the story we'll tell ourselves. We sit in silence for a while, a little while longer. The fear of whatever that was slowly subsiding as we get closer to the I... city. Thanks for coming out. This was fun. I don't know. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've just been in a way lately. I had to get out of the house. Mm. Had to be around somebody. You, you doing okay, man? <laughs> Robert thinks for a second and lights another cigarette. <sighs> There. Been doing a lot of thinking. It takes a long drag. Mm. As I get older, I feel more and more that I'm just drowning in this sea of regret. I was so busy chasing after these things that I thought would make me happy that I didn't think about anyone else. All I cared about was myself. I didn't even oh. think. Robert stops. I wait for him to finish his thought, but he just stares at the road. Maybe I'm just built like mm. this. Or maybe I did do it to myself. Maybe it's my own choice that I'm as unhappy as I am. I try to think of something to say. I remember all the times in my life when I've been sad, and there's a great many of them, but there was always a light at the end of the tunnel. Something I held onto that kept me going. I... But there's something so resigned about the way Robert's talking. <sighs> that sucks. I'm glad you told me. Maybe we deserve to be eaten by the Dover ghost. Now that's fucked up. We don't deserve that. I'm glad you told me, buddy. It must have taken a lot for you to want to tell somebody this. Mm -hmm. You're a mysterious guy, Robert. You don't have to be. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Huh. Wish you were a better father? Oh. I think about it for a second. All the time, you can read all the parenting books you want, but nothing will ever prepare you for raising a child. There's so much stuff I regret or wish that I could have done better, but I don't have the answers. I don't know if anyone does. I... It's funny. I look at you and your relationship with your daughter, and it seems perfect. It isn't. Hmm. At least you're there for her. I stare out the window at the blur of passing trees. I just hope I'm a better father to my kid than my dad was to me. Hmm. What did your dad do? It's more about what he didn't do. He was quiet, stoic, don't think he ever once told me that he loved me. He cared more about his work than he ever did about me or my mom. <laughs> do you hate him? No, I used to, but after I became a parent, I just kind of feel bad for him. He missed out on my whole childhood. When I think about all the happiest moments of my life, they're all with Amanda and Alex, and he just wasn't there. It hurt like hell when I had to leave him to die in that Belarusian prison. What the fuck? What? <laughs> really? What? I turn around and smile at him. No, he's retired in Florida with my mom. We go there every Christmas. <laughs> we both break out into laughs. <laughs> he bats me on the shoulder. <laughs> I had to leave him to die in that Belarusian prison, man. <laughs> it was fucking good. Or right, shut the fuck up about stories from now on. Your word becomes real. Wait, I dozed off. What did he say about regrets? Um, I oh, just, yeah, he just regrets his daughter, I guess, for not being there enough for her. I was scared he was a son of a war criminal. <laughs> yeah, I am. Male man is. We drive, I mean, how, how distantly related am I to Milkman, right? Like, I'm related to Milkman and email. Email doesn't do that much crime. Yes, he does. Email does a lot of crime. It's all internet crime, though. We drive the rest of the way in silence, listening to the radio and watching the bright lights of the city grow bigger. Oh. Robert drops me off at my place. As I'm about to close the passenger door, I realize that I still have Robert's pocket knife in my jacket. I pull it out and offer it back to him. Huh. You hold on to that. Never know when you might need it. Oh my god, he gave me his fucking knife, man. What a fucking cool guy. Night, right, Robert. Have a safe drive home. Robert smirks and pulls away. Hell yeah. He then immediately pulls into his driveway, which is one over from mine. He gets out and waves. <laughs> it's so funny. I tiptoe into the house, careful not to wake Amanda up. 
Whoa, where'd you come from? Huh? I look around and sweat Amanda coming out of the kitchen with a glass of water. Mm -hmm. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, uh, Robert woke me up to go cryptid hunting. <laughs> you know the Mothman is bullshit, right? Amanda Lang... You know what? It's fine. I think about the conversation I had with Robert in the car as Amanda starts walking towards her room. Hey, Amanda. She stops. I love you. Huh? It's weird when you say it outright and sincerely like that, but I love you too. <laughs> Night. I chuckle to myself, then finally decide to go to bed. Aww. Dato completo. Worthwhile hobby. Number one dad. Whiskey, crime, truck, and blood. That wasn't a lot of dad points. What the fuck? I only got 384 dad points, but I got so much daddy points. Why Why did I did so little on the dad points? What was the problem there? Why no dad points? What the fuck? I still got S rank. I don't know what the dad points is, though. At least Robert isn't like Toji. Uh, Toji and the child support. True, true, true. It's a beautiful night and the air smells so fresh, so I decided to take the long way home. I casually stroll through the neighborhood, taking in the sights and sounds of a suburban city with a low crime rate and wide walkable sideway or sidewalks at night. As I approach the bar, I can hear patrons inside cheering. Oh, I bet the game is on. I wonder if my team is playing tonight. A drop of water hits my head, and now it's lots of drops of water. The pour It's pouring rain. Maybe I should wait. <coughs> oh, bless me. Maybe I should... <coughs> Maybe I should wait this outside. I order a beer from the bar and settle in. It turns out that my team isn't playing tonight, but I can certainly enjoy the game regardless. The bar is unusually crowded, and the feeling of uh, camaraderie over a shared love for the game makes me smile. Sports are nice. Mm -hmm. Oh god, not Mary. I look over into the corner and spot none other than Mary sitting alone and in the corner nursing a cocktail. Something about her seems different this time. Now that she's by herself and not hanging off some younger guy, she looks so sad. She looks up and half-heartedly raises her glass to me before staring off into the middle distance. Oh god, do I really have to fucking hang out with Mary, man? <laughs> the, the total is always the same number too. It's the Zaddy Sim. It, it is indeed, HM. It is indeed. Um, I guess we'll say hi. I feel bad. I decided to go say hello. I walk over to a booth. She doesn't look up. Is she taken? I feel bad. I don't fucking hang out with her, man. I don't like her, but like... I'll do it, I guess. You know what I mean? I'll do it. Doesn't mean I want to. Anyway, um, I started blasting. Bah, bah. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Just kill, just kill her. Sheesh. Kill his merry lady. Uh, I have a seat anyway, since she finally notices me. Oh. Hey, cowboy. You alright? Never better. She hiccups, guess she's a little far gone. Mm. Tea start welling up in her eyes. Oh. <sighs> I will you walk a gal home? Fine, yeah. I start out of the booth, seems like Mary's having some trouble getting up. I reach out a hand to help her, but she waves ah. me away. I got it, I got it. What the fuck is going on with this lady, man? <laughs> uh no, she's smash for real. Bro, she's fucking we she's like cheating on her husband, dude. She clearly does not got it. You know what? Hang out here for a second. I walk over to the bartender and pay Mary's tab. Hey, I don't know if you remember me, but I live in Mary's cul-de-sac, and I'm just making sure she gets home safe tonight. I know you. Yeah, it's nothing weird. Just, she usually has one of the bar staff walk her home, but I trust you. She doesn't like go home with... I don't really want to say it. One of the guys she meets? Nah. Nah? Ain't no thing. Okay, good. At least, okay, she's not cheating on her husband. She just likes to flirt with men who aren't her husband. That's, okay. She doesn't cheat on it on them. It doesn't cheat on her husband, but she's a flirt. Uh, she likes only to toy with people. Yes, she, she's a big, she's a big sadist. <laughs> a, a dom, if you would. Huh. I head back to the booth. Mary stumbles out of the seat and directly into my arms. It's still raining a little bit. I take off my coat and hold it over Mary's head. Such a gentleman. Let's get you home. Mary and I walk in silence up the street toward the cul-de-sac. I have no idea what to say to her for fear that she might hit on me or not. What did the bartender mean by ain't a thing? Uh. Sorry you have to see me like this. I'm usually not. I know Joseph doesn't like one eye. Just sorry. It's alright. Mm. I'm sorry if I'm ever mean to you. It's alright. Uh. No, it's not. I know it's not. I'm just having a, re having a really... Uh. Forget it. As we get to the cul-de-sac, I can feel Mary starting to slow down. By the time we arrive at the doorstep, she pulls away from me. Wait, can we just hold on? What's wrong? Hey. Um. How about another drink? Old time to say. Come on, Mary. It's bedtime. Mary looks me up and down, giving me a half smile. Mm. You're right. She pulls me in for a close, close for a hug. 
Holding onto me for a little longer than feels appropriate, she mum mumbles into my chest. Mm. You're a good kid. Thanks for the company. Ah. Mary gives me a pat on the back, strains out her sweater, and walks the rest of the way to the front of herself. Huh. That was really weird. I don't want to have to deal with Mary again. <laughs> Welcome. You've got dads. I do indeed got that. Oh god, Hugo want Matt wants to hang out with me. Sorry. Matt wants to I want to hang out with Damien. I think I'm happy to do the day to do Damien's ending. I don't trust nobody else. Can respect the hate of vibe TVH. I maybe am an evil murderer, but ain't no way I'm uh, stepping into that kind of relationship. AKA an NTR protagonist. Yes. Good good correct choice, yes. Hello Damien message. You know what they say about third dates? They got pretty serious. They get pretty serious. Run out of time to uh, browse dad book for a while. You ready? Yes. Save and continue. Cool. Damien's my boy. I miss him. I miss my Damien. Not gonna lie. Ever since we had that picnic in the graveyard, Damien and I have been spending a lot of time together. Really? We go on nighttime strolls pretty regularly. He was so impressed with the first letter I wrote him that he insisted we only communicate by post instead of through dad book. He just wants to write letters, okay. I initially protested, but he gave me one of his old signet rings. Oh my god, what the fuck? To use as a seal for my letters and I just couldn't say no? A signet ring would be fucking ba Where do I buy a signet ring? How much is a signet ring? Can I make my own signet ring? Like, can it be my own fucking- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, where do I buy it? Okay, okay, there's a place. Where is- where is this location? Where is this- Is there one close? Can I say the name of the store? Yes, and Michael Hill is apparently sells these. Okay. Okay. Um, if you hang out with Joseph, he will probably traumatize Amanda, make her forget her name and memory so she can be a war machine sociopath. I like how we will never hang out with Joseph, but like, I feel bad. Oh my god, these are like Gucci as hell though. You can get one for only $150 though. That's kind of crazy. That seems really cheap. What the fuck? I can just buy a ring for $150? That's insane. There's nothing on it. It's literally just a blank silver ring. But fair enough. And then we go down to, like, the good ones. Oh, wait, there's one for $70 as well. What the fuck? How is a ring this cheap? There's one for $60. Round signet ring and sterling. So how are these so cheap? Now, this one looks fucking awesome. Full sovereign ring. 10 carat gold. And tw oh, uh, in 10 carat and 22 carat. And, of course, it's $6,300. That's, like, a full-on fucking, like, sigil on it, though. Half sovereign ring. Oh. This looks fucking amazing. What the fuck? You gotta get platinum rings, not gold? Really? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Gold is uh, so last year. Huh. It has like 2020 on it. It's just like a weird sigil. I don't know. Metal yellow? Okay. Pair it with... Oh, you pair it with things. No, if you just want to get multiple rings, I guess. Sovereign coin ring, coin ring, more sh more shaped like a coin then. With 0.3 carat TW of diamonds. Oh, this one has fucking diamond. Oh, okay, I see why it's a bit more expensive. Only like 200. You, you <laughs> eh, what the fuck? Crazy. I like I'm looking at something I could never afford. <laughs> That's the most expensive one. Yeah, that was the most expensive one, I guess. And then, yeah, they do a bunch of other stuff as well. Well, there you go. I'll need- I want to buy a signet ring eventually. They'd be sick for letters. Absolutely. I will definitely need to send letters and have a signet ring. <laughs> um... Yeah, his old signet ring so he uses a seal for my letters and I just couldn't say no. <laughs> Hanging out with that golf dad again? You betcha. Please, Amanda, you know his name. And yes. <laughs> Be honest with me here, Pops. Is he actually a vampire? I remember you inviting him into our household that one time, and I've seen the Lost Boys, and I honestly would have preferred trying to see if he could have walked through the threshold of our home under his own power. Hmm. Yes, Amanda, I have become Damien's familiar. I'm compelled under his curse. I'm sorry, sweetie. Turn into a bat. I don't think... What's the point of being a vampire if you can't turn into a bat? Well, okay, I'm off. 
Are you taking the car or are you flying off into the night on the leathery wings of a bat? One of those. While I'm out, can you throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die? That would be great. I'm keeping it there as insurance, you understand, right? That's my girl. Hell yeah. Oh well, yeah, this is where me and Amanda hung out as well. Damien and I walk along the water's edge, chatting. Damien's cape, I mean cloak. He hates it when people call it a cape. Okay, sorry, yes. I thought it was a cloak as well. Yeah, it, it, cloaks are cool. Um, Damien's cloak flutters behind him in the breeze. This is gonna seem like a silly question, but why do goths wear black? Gothic subculture has- wait, what was that? What was- what did I give Damien's voice? Oh god, I already forget. To bite people's necks. Um... Gothic subculture has always been associated with death, so it makes sense that the style surrounding it would be greatly influenced by mourning. Hmm. Interestingly enough, though, was that in the uh, in the Victorian era, Queen Victoria herself mourned the death of her late husband for ten whole years, wearing black for the rest of her life. If that's not goth, I don't know what is. I have another question. <laughs> Go ahead. How are you so comfortable with death? You mentioned in the graveyard that it helps you approach your life or something. Well, I reckon his wife would have died, right? Because of the... We've not seen her around, you know? Ah, I've experienced several losses over the course of my life, and I truly believe the only measurable way to cope with it is to accept that death is simply a part of living. Uh. It's the single universal truth for every human who's ever lived. I am going to die, you are going to die, and life carries on without us. Doesn't that make you feel scared? Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in the Victorian era. And yet, funerals were major social functions. Uh. Victorians were obsessed with mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. Uh. The min minute of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who in your life had passed. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost because yourself because we have no modern equivalent of those formalities. We need to allow ourselves time to grieve, to feel that loss fully, but not allow it to consume us. So no, I'm not afraid of death. I believe it is a waste to spend your life dreading the end of it. The time we have here is brief and fleeting and occasionally cruel, but it is at all times precious. To stare death in the face and live despite that, I think, is a noble existence. Let's save the mourning for the dead. Wow, that's beautiful. I can see the moonlight in the bay glint off of Damien's eyes. He smiles. We turn to the harbour and watch ships pass, breathing the salty sea air. I look to Damien again and can't help but be entranced by his charm, his mystery. I find everything about him so fascinating. I lean in closer to Damien, closing my eyes as I do so. Wait, what the? Huh. I'm so sorry. I have to take this. What the fuck? We were gonna kiss him? What the fuck? I just want to be bros. You know, I'm the opposite. Damien steps away from me to answer his phone. Oh no, I hope it isn't Lucian again. After speaking in hushed tones for a few moments, Damien returns to me. Everything okay? <sighs> There's an emergency. Lu Lucian? Uh -huh. No, thankfully, but I must take my leave. Oh, okay, I is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Um, huh. Dads do have to stick together, right? You know it. Mm. Then come, there isn't time to waste. After a short drive in silence, we arrive at a rundown building on the outskirts of town. Where are we? It's better if I just show you. Whoa. I, I push the surprisingly heavy door open and find myself in a dimly lit waiting room. A few rickety chairs line the walls and there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the front desk. There are a few paintings and pictures on the wall, but they're so nondescript I'm still unaware what kind of place this even uh. is. Wait here for a moment, I'll be right back. Damien walks off down a corridor, his boot heels echoing through the halls of this seemingly empty building. Distant howls echo from some place I can't see, and there's a faint scratching sound like claws on tile. I cautiously peek down the hall and find stall after stall of scared-looking dogs. A few of them notice me and skitter up to the chain-link fence, sticking their noses through to sniff at the air. What have I gotten myself into? Suddenly, the lights shut off. I panic, unsure of where I am or how I can get out. I stumble through the darkness, my breathing getting heavier and heavier. Damien? The lights finally turn back on. Mary? Hey, sailor. Mary? What are you doing here? Come on. You aren't here for the fight club? What? I, uh, I don't want to get punched in the face. Ah. Great, because this is an animal shelter. A what? Ah. We take care of stray animals and then people adopt the stray animals. Didn't you see the pets when you walked in? Oh, I just... Sorry, I didn't really expect to see you volunteering at an animal oh. shelter. 
Wow. Okay, kid, way to put me in a box. Dames, you hear this baloney? Just one moment. Who's Damien? Thunder cracks and a door opens. Appearing from the shadows, I see... Oh, what the actual... No, also, why did I forget Damien's name for a second? I have no idea why. But what the fuck? <sighs> Is it sad? Is it fucked up that I've lost respect for Damien? Damien, are you Batman? No, he's even worse. Nah, he's Clark Kent instead. I still love him, but this is... This changes a lot, doesn't it? What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's a regular working man. It makes sense. I kind of like this outfit too. I like the hair and the glasses. I do think it works. <laughs> I think it's cool. I don't know. I don't know. It makes sense he's just a normal guy, right? This is this make this, it's 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 a believe it's realistic. I get it. I'm not crazy, don't worry. I'm not insane. <laughs> um It needs a coat, TBH. Yes, he needs like a like, like they're not doctors, they're not veterinarians, but he could use like a doctor's coat, I think, would make him look a bit better, yeah. Um Hey. It's Damien. He looks completely different. No clothes, no Victorian era clothing, no makeup. I wasn't planning to share this side of me until much later, but I'm not as goth as you think. I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, cool. I, uh, I'm a Simpsons administrator of the IT department of reality of a realty company. I mean, yeah, f fair enough. That's, yeah, I get it now, actually. Unfortunately, being goth doesn't pay the bills. Man's gonna make money somehow. That's completely fair, yes. And, uh, IT, I'm not surprised. That's cool. Good job. I swear, t I went tennis shoes to work and I listened to Bruce Springsteen. What? I enjoyed going to the hardware store and looking at storage solutions. And I volunteered the animal shelter in my spare, spare time. He's not golf all the time. No. My reality is being shattered. He's just a normal man. I'm boring. No, you're not boring, David. You're normal. You're cool. You're fine, dude. I'm fascinated with Victorian history and the golf lifestyle. That much is true. It's just not all that I am. And I need you to know that. Oh, I, uh... Huh? Hate to kill the moment here, but there's some pressing business that needs attending to. I... Oh, right. It's Duchess Cordelia. What? Again? Who's Duchess Cordelia? Yeah. She's one of the pups. Gets out all the time. She somehow learned how to open doors, and now she's unstoppable. Oh my god, she's like the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Makes sense on why he has a whole mansion. Yeah, he big monies. He's he's basically like the the, the furry, right? He's, he's He has all the money. But instead of dressing up as furry, he dresses up as a fucking Victorian goth. <laughs> when did she get out? This morning. I went to go sing sea shanties to the cats, and when I came back, she had already bolted. I have to stay here with the pet, so I need you two to go and find her. Of course. Where could she be? She always ends up running off to the same places. Here, let me draw you a map. Mary starts scribbling on the back of a pet adoption form. She's very smart, ruthless even. You need to stay on your toes and get her back by sundown or else she turns into a werewolf and starts eating people. Oh, of course, yes. What? You're a perfect little peach, male. We just don't want her to be stuck outside when it's cold. Oh. I'll grab some treats and we can hit the road. Damien and I look over the map Ma Mary created for us. What the aquarium shelter, the ocean or whatever... Softball field, coffee, spoon, co oh yeah, the coffee shop. Coffee dad, kale, nerd's house, Mary's sick pad, smalls, dames, other nerd's house, Mario Batali. <laughs> oh man, I'm nerd's house? Fuck, she called me a nerd. That's fucked up, we're two nerds. It makes sense, so it's fair. God damn it. Okay, so yeah, dames. Dames. That's why I was confused. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. I, I know his name's Damien, but she said Dames. And I'm like, who the fuck is Dames? And that's her nickname for Damien. Okay, okay. I get you. Makes sense, makes sense. At least you're not other nerds' house. Looks like you're moving up in the pecking order. Congrats, kiddo. Where should we head first? Cul-de-sac, coffee spoon, softball field, bayside aquarium. Um, I say, well, the cul-de-sac is kind of where a lot of everything is. So let's go to the cul-de-sac. Top of the list. Damien and I exit the parking lot and start driving toward town. I look over to see him. He seems concerned. Shouldn't be too hard to find the Duchess, right? She's a pretty big pup. Mary wasn't kidding when she said that dog was smart. One time she correctly guessed the winner of the Kentucky Derby. 
It was a really great year for the bark, bark, bark. What? <laughs> what the f Hmm, I don't know. What do you think our odds are, male? This will be easy. Gotta stay positive. Abandon all hope. Ye who enter here. That's a cool fucking... I'm gonna say that. That's fucking badass. But lo, look upon God's creation and wretch with horror as what he hath forsaken. Hell is empty and the devils are all here. Where the fuck is this from? This sounds fucking sick. What is this from? I'm not cultured enough to know what this what this is. It sounds fucking awesome though. What the hell? <laughs> sounds fucking badass. Oh, he loved it. Nice. <laughs> I thought that would cheer you up. Let's just hope for the best. We got this. We drive through the cul-de-sac and everything seems to be pretty normal. Looks like Brian's doing some yard work. We pull into Brian's driveway and hop out. Don't hey, don't step on the grass. I just mowed. Have you seen any uh, unusual attack activity in the area today? <laughs> Aside from your underwater lawn? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. How dare you. I take my lawn very, my lawn care very seriously. Mayo, please. You haven't seen a dog run through here, have you? Well, a little while ago, I heard Maxwell barking at something. When I came outside, my garden had been torn to shreds. It's going to take forever to refill, refill the soil. Hmm, that could be a dog or a rather feisty raccoon. Whatever it was, it must have been hungry. I ate all my tomatoes. I'm very I'm re very sorry to hear about your garden. If you need resi assistance restoring it to its former glory, <laughs> please don't hesitate to contact me. <laughs> Will do, buddy. Good luck finding that dog. Hmm, she's probably still hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. Coffee. Okay, it's cold to sack again, Lamar. Um, Dante's Inferno, Abandon Law, Hope, or Ye Henty. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, I, I literally read um, Dante's Inferno too. Okay. I, see, it sounded like familiar. That's probably why. But it's been a couple, it's been a, a pretty long time since I read Dante's Inferno, so. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's go to Coffee Spoon. Okay, I guess we should just go down in the order, right? We park in front of Matt's coffee shop and walk inside. It seems like a slow day. Matt sits behind the counter reading a book. Hey, Matt. Hey. Didn't expect to see you two today. What's up? Huh. Have you seen any stray dogs around? Actually, yeah. I caught one digging through the trash earlier. It ran away when I tried to get closer, though. Did you see what direction it ran in? Matt thinks for a second. Hey. Might have been running east, I think. That pup tore through three pans of old banana bread Kennedys. Want to take some for the road just in case? Sure thing. Matt packages up a slice. Thanks for the slice. The road slice. This banana bread is going to be so good. I think he meant to give it to you for the dog. <laughs> right, I meant... It's going to be so good for the dog to eat. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like we're on the... I feel like we're on the right track. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find the Duchess in no time. Hey, if you like dogs so much, why don't you have any? Lucien is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. But there are still dogs in my life, so for that, I'm grateful. There's about to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude. Let us not waste any more time. Ver verily. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is getting intense. We've got to find that dog. Um. Oh yeah, Dante's Inferno, the first self-insert fic lol. <laughs> yeah, basically true. <laughs> Lamau. That's so true. Okay, east. Um. Does, does it really matter? So where is the softball field? It's up here. I, uh, oh wait, north. E well, east. If you were inside this and you were looking into the sh whatever, just just go down the water. We'll just mark everything off. Is fucking Craig gonna be here? We drive to the softball field. It looks like Craig's. I fucking knew it. Craig's team is practicing. I wonder if any of the kids saw something. Craig spots us and jogs over. Softball bat slung over his shoulder. Oh. Hey, bros, what's up? Craig, you wouldn't have happened to see a dog around here, have you? One escaped from the animal shelter and we're trying to locate her. Hmm. hmm, I don't think so. Maybe one of the girls saw something. Girls! Hi, Amanda's dad. Hi, Lucian's dad. We have names. Girls, have you seen any dogs around? There was a big dog here earlier. She ran off a while ago, though. I don't think she had an owner, but it really wanted to play. We tried to play fetch with her, but she just took the softball and ran. I think she ate it, actually. She was a lot of a dog. <laughs> oh. Here, take another softball. Might come in handy later. Oh. Many thanks, Craig. Okay, Bayside, Bayside. Off we go. Aquarium. The dogs in the aquarium. <laughs> um, I thought it was called D Divine Comedy. Oh, it is called Divine Comedy. Yes, it's called Divine Comedy. It's in three parts. So I'm tasting Inferno, and then the other two. I don't know what they're called, but it's um, it's it's Purgatory or Limbo, and then and then Heaven. Those are the three. 
We arrived back at the Bayside. Just like old times, eh? Oh. I remember it as if it were yesterday. It was today, Damien. Mm. I mean, earlier today. So what do you think? Any side of the pooch? Mm. None yet. Although, who knows if she made it onto any of these ships. The Duchess would do that? I wouldn't put it past her to know how to navigate in rough seas and without a compass. Very smart. How smart is she? Pops? Oh god, man, is here. Damien and I turned to see my daughter. Amanda, what are you doing here? Do you think I just stayed inside all day, vegging out on the couch and watching TV? Oh, sorry, what What are you doing? Yes. I'm heading home to go veg out on the couch and watch TV. Had to get a burrito first. Oh. Young miss, have you seen a dog around here? Hey. Oh, you bet. I saw a Pomeranian with a bow around his neck. I saw a big old dogman named Henry. There was a stroller full of Yorkies, a Greyhound, a Golden Retriever. You have a good memory. Did you see a Mastiff anywhere? <sighs> hmm, no dice. I would definitely have remembered that. Yeah. I gotta run though. This Rito has around about 10 minutes before the cheese breaks down the molecular structure of the tortilla and makes it all soggy. I'd, who cares if it's a little soggy? A little soggy is fine. It's so yummy. It's so good spices. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, it makes it all soggy. You understand. I do? Of course. Have a lovely evening, Miss Man. <laughs> Miss Man! Matt said the Duchess went east from the coffee shop, but there's no sign of her yet. Okay, east, because, like, yeah, he's doing, yeah. I suppose we need to go. Not so east? The aquarium. <laughs> the goddamn fucking aquarium. This is so weird. Um, I fear that the hours are growing short. We must make haste for to find the Duchess by sundown. Damien's looking more stressed out by the minute. I've got to think of something to land the mood. What kind of dog does a vampire have? Knock, knock. How many goths does it take to screw in a light bulb? What the fuck? That sounds awesome. Inferno, Purgat... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just the Italian names. Purgatorio and Paradiso. Thank you. Thank you, Kitsu. Yeah, that's... I just would never remember the Italian names for Purgatorio and, Par and, uh, and Paradise. Still find funny how I got the name Divine Comedy. In the old times, a book would have been called a comedy, but Dante and his bro thought it was so good it, wa it was divine. <laughs> How many goths does it take to screw in a light bulb? None, because they don't like the light. <laughs> I don't know, how many? One, goths are very capable, especially when looking for a dog. That's not even a joke, that's just like a pep talk. Damien smiles to himself. I keep reading Damien's direction from the map as we drive around town. Ah, oh, it's gotta be the aquarium, man. That's the last place. Penguins. Damien and I stopped by the aquarium. Everything looks in order here, but it might help to get out of the car and take a look. You seen anything? Hmm. hmm. No dog here. Not even any sign of her. Did you know that penguins are considered the goths of the sea? Because they're, like, dark, I guess? Damien, I want to believe you so badly. <laughs> what? Okay, it's that, okay. do we just go back to cul We do another, like, full through? Cul-de-sac. We arrive at the cold set sack to find everything looking normal except, uh oh, Hugo's front door is wide. Oh no, where is Hugo's house? She can open doors. This is classic Duchess Cordelia, a telltale sign. We should approach with caution. Whatever goes down in there, I've got your back. We creep up onto the. <laughs> this is fucking more like our body cop movie now. <laughs> Don't die on me, Damien. We creep up onto the porch and step inside. Oh god, what the fuck? They're sitting in the center of Hugo's living room like she owns the damn place and one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Ruff! Well, she hasn't broken anything in here yet. Mm. Wonderful. Now all we have to do is get this leash on her before she tries to escape again and get out of here before Hugo comes home. Easy peasy. Uh. Duchess, come here. The Duchess eyes Damien warily as she as he approaches, she begins to growl. Mm. She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. A hand her a dog treat, try the softball. Give her the banana bread. All of these could be, or could you know, these all could be the anything. This is you know. Um, I'm gonna try the banana bread. She loved the banana bread. She loved eating the fucking banana bread. Nom 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 nom. Oh my god! Ugh. I reach into my pocket and pull out the slice of banana bread. Bread Kennedy's Matt gave me. Um, br banana bread Kennedy's. That's right. Didn't we name it that? Yeah. Matt gave me. Duchess sniffs the air and hones in on the bread. Come here, girl. Nice and easy. I've got some yummy homemade vegan and possibly- Oh, vegan. Nice. Okay. And possibly gluten-free banana bread, if that's what you're into. The Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it on the ground, like dogs always do for some reason. She curls up and starts munching on the bread. It worked. Success! Damien walks up behind the Duchess and attaches the leash to a collar she immediately notices and starts whining. It's time to go home now, Duchess. Damien gives a tug on the leash, she won't move. Duchess, what happened to our rapport? You and I used to uh, be bosom buddies. She still doesn't move, she's huge, there's no way we could even t uh, try to lift her. Well, this is a weird situation to be in, I think we're literally trespassing our friend's house with this large dog. What are you nerds doing? Is it Mary? Oh no, it's, okay. 
Ona stands in the doorway of a plate of pizza rolls. Uh, um, uh, um, oh god, oh no. Jesus Christ, that dog is ripped. He has a big burly boy. Oh, it's a girl, even. Big burly girl. Uh, don't tell your dad about this, kid. I'm definitely telling Hugo about this. Hey, man. Be cool. You, you're a cool kid. Be cool, man. Ask awesome about the pizza rolls. I do I am cool. Cool enough to not tell your dad? You're good. Yeah! Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Why is this dog in my house? Wait, sorry. Why is he dying in my hands? It's a long... The Duchess suddenly breaks free from Damien's grip and hurls towards Ernest. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Ernest and the Duchess fall to the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. This is bad! Ernest, are you okay? Ernest feeds the Duchess a pizza roll. Hey, she likes pizza rolls! Ernest sits up but the dog keeps licking his face. Oh, hey. Oh no. Hugo stands at the door looking like he's at a loss for words. What? What? Why are you guys- Whose dog is this? It's a long story, but it involves a large dog who knows how to open doors. Buff! Hugo, may I present to you Duchess Cordelia? Eh. How do you do? Buff! We're friends! The Duchess licks at Ernest's face. She's from the local animal shelter, but she got out and we've been chasing her all around town. Your house was her final stop. Dad, can we keep her? Uh, Ernest, I don't know if I set up to take care of her. Sweet man, Chago. Wait, did you just call me Dad? Come on, please, look how cute she is. This is gonna be a good end to this story. Hugo Sa. <sighs> oh. We had been talking about adopting a dog for a while, but you have to promise me you'll take care of her. Yeah, I'll give her all the pizza rolls her little heart desires. I suddenly remember what's on the back of this map and pull a pen out of my pocket. Got the forms ready for you if you're interested. I'll even waive the adoption fee since, you know, we technically broke into your household. Hey. Well, alright, it's a deal. Hugo steps onto the porch with us and signs the form while Ernest plays with the Duchess inside. He sure seems to be happy with his new friend. Yes. I know, he called me dad. Can you believe it? Damien places a hand on Hugo's shoulder. <laughs> I certainly can. I think this would be really good for Ernest. It should teach him some responsibility. You should probably look into getting better locks in your doors, though. The Duchess is a wily one, but do right by her and she'll love you two forever. Thank you. That was really wholesome. I really liked that a lot. Hell yeah, Ernest is, Ernest is a good ending. And long story short, the Duchess now lives in a happy home and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. So all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Male, you could be a valuable asset to our team of volunteers, you know? If you ever feel like petting some puppies, hit me up. Ah! Hmm... Is it paid? It's volunteering, so it's not paid, man. <laughs> um, Mary, I always feel like petting puppies. Ah. Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellas later. Mary starts to leave. And one last thing. Mm. Damien's been telling about you. Glad he finally brought you around. Oh, yeah. Ah. Damien's my special boy. What the fuck is this? You speak like my chat, Mary. Jesus. I love him. We go way back, and I got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever heard him, hmm. Mary, hey. you can fill in the blanks. I gulp. Yes, ma'am. Mary leaves me alone with Damien. So, about the whole goth thing, I um completely understand if you aren't interested in me anymore. Bro, you're just a cool, normal guy. It's fine. Chill, buddy. What the fuck? You don't need to be goth 100% of the time. It's just fucked up, dude. I remember something Ernest sent me my rope. A farewell to arms. If Ernest is some, uh, in some circumstance hurt his arms, it would be ironic. He's my boy. I will protect him until my last breath. I'm the same, Mary. I will protect Damien as well. Do not worry. Do not worry. What? Am I missing something here? I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? He looks so nervous. Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? I mean, yeah, that's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. Exactly! What? Yeah, that's definitely it. History, art, Victorian fashion, dog, storage solutions, Naruto fanfiction. It doesn't matter what it is. You care, and that's awesome. And also, the glasses are very cute. Oh! You don't think I'm boring at all? If you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. 
I spent too much time on, uh, online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. <laughs> huh. Then maybe we can be boring together? Oh, it would never be boring if I was with you. Oh, Damien suddenly closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries his face in my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. Ooh, nice. I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Quite the opposite. Damien pulls away for a second and looks me in the eyes. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. May I kiss you? What the? <laughs> Thou art welcome, my good sir. Verily, you may take upon yourself the... You know what? Just kiss me. He smiles slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. Damien pulls away and gives me an intense look. Mm. Do you want to... Help me take care of the puppies? <laughs> yes! <laughs> the sexual tension is extreme. See, I like... Okay. The I this is my preference of Damien. But obviously I'm fine with him being normal most of the time. It's all good. At least you don't wear a Naruto tracksuit as normal clothing. True, true, true. <laughs> Damon and I arrive back at the closet sack. Our fingers intertwine like a proper gentleman. He walks me to my doorstep. Are we a couple or are we just bro bros? Like, what the fuck is going on? Oh. Here? This was lovely. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. Huh. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? Oh. Oh. But of course. Damon kisses me one last time before turning around and heading home. Amanda runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. Th this is a lot of questions. How do I tell my daughter that this is not a romantic relationship? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. So, are you guys, like, sta starting a vampire coven together? Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damon's actually Mothman. I didn't see it coming either. <laughs> Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve a dad. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm gonna head to bed. Catch you in the morning? Sure thing. I make my way to my room and fall into my bed with my heart full, excited for the days to come. Damn. Dato completo! Home cooking food channel fang. And Wadi hates that Wadi and era. Death anxiety onus. No dad points. We're not getting dad points anymore. We're getting daddy points, so S rank daddy. Friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. Um, t taking the egg is a, uh, it's a, <clears throat> it's a, it's a Victorian phrase. It technically means winning, so, uh, you've, ultimately, you've, you've won. Okay, <laughs> thank you, da I've won. I've taken the egg on there. <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? That was so fucking weird. Please don't pirate games. Yeah, Dad did Brady. Good tip right there. Well, what the fuck was any of that? Rosemary, oh, weed rosemary, or, uh, rosemary is, was used by priests before an exorcist. So it's weird for the goth Victorian to have hair smelling like rosemary, huh? Fair enough. Um, phew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, male, be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Mm. Something fishy? Rats. Um... No! I, uh, I had a crab cake sandwich for lunch. That's probably it. You're allergic to shellfish. Oh. Oh no, I forgot. Again. Dad. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be sick. What have I done? I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Aww. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would be, it would fill my heart with glee. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... <laughs> oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. Yes. No way! I figured you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. This is all 19 seasons! And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. <laughs> Dad, I love this. Thank you. Oh, she gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pig skin or something? <laughs> totally. I follow Amanda the back door. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh my god, they're all here! Oh my god! What? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. 
So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here! Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Yeah. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is, fully customizable down to the type of mac. And there's a nice cream cake, the uh, good calm, the crunchies in the middle. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, just go have fun with your pals, alright? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. <laughs> I walk over to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. We have a real fluffy uh, Samuel right now. His name is Harold. Loves belly rubs. He always tries to lick your face if you get too close. <gasps> Mrs. Christensen, thank you so much. Oh my god, that's literally their fucking name as well. What the hell? Thank you so much for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please tell me about the um, Afghan with three legs again. Sure, Quadro we call him. It's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. What the fuck? Really? Nah, but I could get you in to meet, uh, in to meet all of them. We could always use extra hands around the mm. shelter. And those extra hands also happen to steal a dog. <laughs> what the fuck is... She's a menace. She's actually like a menace, I swear. The fans? No, the no fans. She would have liked that line, though. <laughs> I'm glad you two were able to bond over cute dogs. It really warms my heart. Dad, we're having a moment. Mm. Hey, sailor, your kid's a good egg. Where's your goth prince? You two are usually attached at the hip these days. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's around. Stella. Mary turns her attention to Amanda. Oh. It's not too hard to sneak a dog into college. Trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. At one point, I had three cats living in my dorm. What the fuck? I decided to leave them to it. All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps up into my arms. Oh, my God, this guy. Duchess. Hugo and Ernest run up to me. The Duchess gives my face a broad, a uh, few broad licks and hops down. <sighs> We're working on that. Got her in a disciplinary class. She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along uh, nicely. Ah. She's a very valuable attention to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. Cool. Uh. We'll deal with that later. Duchess Cordelia spots a squirrel and <laughs> oh, a squirrel, and darts across the yard. Ernest follows her, laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Oh, thanks for breaking into my house. I guess. <laughs> Anytime. Mail. Brian, you made it. Ha! I don't pass up a good Mac. What do you think of the party? Aww. Yeah, it's not bad. God fucking damn it. Just not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for the lovely compliment. Daisy shuts up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> Brian, I lock eyes. This is an over. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro. Oh. This is a real rager. Taking our older age into consideration? I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. <laughs> Me too, dude. Ryan and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all the ice cream cake. Mm. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces once to pin it on me because we look alike. I hate you. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. Well, you, you girls are going to have to run 50 laps. <laughs> Some fucking bullshit like that. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Uh, let's hang soon, yeah? Totally, yeah. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep, couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you at more church events. We've got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. Church, yeah. <laughs> and maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Ah. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Mayo. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to a dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over ah. me. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. I could call the police? <laughs> Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? <laughs> nope. Yes. Oh, uh, what? Who said yes? 
and I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so... She'll fit into college just fine. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Robert gestures vaguely to the snack oh. table. Good stuff. Yep. Hmm. See you later. <laughs> Don't look at Robert so bad. <laughs> Robert so fucking bad. What a fucking conversation that was, man. Narrator said yes. Hey, man. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of banana bread candies ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. Hey, Amanda's dad. I turn to Swat Lucian walking up to me. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime, bud. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. I hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. My dad's had a rough couple of years, and, uh, I know that it must not have been easy to raise me alone. He's kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot, and it seems like you make him happy. So, you're cool in my book. Aw, oh, Lucian Redemption Arc. Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And let me know if you want me to give you a stick and poke sometime. No, I don't know. I don't need tats, buddy. Thanks for coming by, Lucian. See you around, male. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is set and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Kill the party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, um, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's, uh... There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Mm. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry, I swear to God, Mel, if you cry again. You're the best dad, I love you. And I'm crying, Oh. Ah. Actually, it is very emotional. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time, ah. Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's Ooh. us. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we need at least one together before I leave. Amanda, th thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented and intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. Nah. Always do. <laughs> Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. I got an achievement. World's best dad. Get good Amanda ending. Wait, is there a bad Amanda ending? Oh god, what the fuck would that have been? She just fucking hates me or something, I don't know. Uh, Lucian isn't a psychopath? No, he's good, I guess. We gotta stop locking up her, uh, Ermit, uh... Oh god, Ernest in the, in the coffin, though. Uh, <laughs> downstairs. Oh, seal him up in the bricks. I'm gonna break so much stuff intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard where Damien is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. Oh, my best bud in the world. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emmas are gonna go get ice cream. Oh, you made you made up with the Emmas. Love you, pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. I take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. Did you know that in the Victorian era, they would call benches city boys? <laughs> what? What, really? Hmm. I'm kidding, Mayo. But what if? <laughs> it's good to see you in your civvies again. Yeah. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day, Mayo, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show you my true form. My information technology form. <laughs> what you said about me, about how my passion was what you truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself regardless of how I choose to dress and act. Hmm. Instead of separate entities, they are simply different facets of myself. A three-dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way I do, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand um, and ma um, made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place. To make myself happy. Place my hand on Damien's and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. Oh. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. I can't stop smiling, I'm so proud of him. Damien, I'm so happy you've realized that you can be a dog-loving goth. <laughs> me too, male, me too. 
I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face and am shocked at how soft it is. How is your hair so soft? Dog shampoo. This is apparently something is weird. I would never do it, but this is something that's actually common. Like, apparently, dog shampoo, some guys do it, which is fucking weird. I'm never going to do that myself. <laughs> Uh, Amanda starts an uh, anarchist riot. That's a fuck god. Let's fucking hope not. Um, but it feels uh, that would be the good ending. <laughs> Bring down society. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Again. I no. I just like like kind of like from YouTubers or whatever. Like it's it's common to fucking well not common. It is. It it has it happens in the world to use dog shampoo. I don't do it, but it does make your coat very soft and shiny. <laughs> coat. <laughs> Yeah, kind of weird, but dog dog shampoo very makes it soft. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. Hey, bro. <laughs> you know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss, <laughs> but I think I can make an exception for you. Whoa. Always try to make others around you happy. Well, there we go. That That's the end of that. That's all she wrote. It's possible I might come back here, you know, again and try and do all the other endings. But this is actually a really long game, it feels like, if you do all the rounds. But I feel like my canonical ending was that, right? That was always... I was always the most interested in Damien. As soon as he popped up at the wedding... Uh, at the party, the cookout. We didn't even meet him originally in the mall. But, um, he was awesome. Like, yeah. I, Robert's interesting, but I feel like, um... I feel like, unironically, I probably like Hugo more as, like, a person. Robert was- I think Robert's second date was cooler, because, like, it just felt more of, like, a guy that he, like, the, he, you know, you got the real him, right? Whereas, like, the drinking and stuff is kind of weird and cringe. I don't like that myself, you know? But yeah, that was- that was, that was awesome. I, I loved it. Also, I can speed this up. Build the Dad mini games. Oh god, there's probably- Oh god, there's probably a lot of games that I didn't play, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fishing, gargoyle. Oh no, we did the gargoyle one, I remember that. Dream Daddy, performed by Bass, written by Will Wissenfield. Okay. There you go. And then a bunch of other songs. Oh. What's a playtest is there? Special thanks to a bunch of cool people and all of our dads. Oh. A game from the Game Grumps. It's the Game Grumps, guys. You know them. These are the guys, and they're grumpy, and they play games. They're grumpy, grumpy gamers. Aww. It's actually me as well, that's so cool. You're the best pops, Amanda. Aww. That's so nice. Look at that photo. <laughs> Daddy may will be like, yes, I'm still serious, Mando. <laughs> I will not enjoy myself. What? Oh my god, look at this hot boy. Look at this hot man. Oh my god, in the graveyard. Look at that long flowing hair. Look at that rose. Look at them boots. Look at that cloak. Oh my. Mm. That's the CG I would always fucking want, guys. Oh my god. Kieran Dio, by the way. There we go. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. I'm very happy to, to say I'm, I'm happy with the ending of that, of that adventure. I was very, very nice. Hell yeah. Dream Daddy. This <laughs> cut's a good name. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was, that was awesome. Good time. Um, I would never would have played this out of my own volition, but but I enjoyed it. I Damien oils all Damien. Like I, I'll be honest, Damien sold me, and like a little, the little funny stuff with uh with with um with Robert. That not everyone else seemed okay. Like they're not bad. If I probably hung out with them more, I'd enjoy it. But like, um, I don't know. I just at face value didn't. No, none of them I vibe with. Good game, great stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So uh, tomorrow I think we're gonna be doing point four, and then I know after that like it's gonna be all Skyrim for a while because I kind of just wanna deep dive into Skyrim and, and just enjoy the fuck out of Skyrim for, for a while, do a lot, lot of long streams. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that and all that. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you all. We probably aren't rating anybody, it's not a lot of people here right now, so it's all good, it's all good. But of course, as usual, I want you all to have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, or night, wherever, whenever the world you are. Uh, please look after yourselves, everybody. I have been the male man, and you can just call me male as usual. 
um, look after yourselves for now. Goodbye, 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 all goodbye to the Kitsu, goodbye to the Zephyrin, goodbye to Lom, goodbye to anyone else who may be here right now. Bye-bye, night-night, bye-bye-bye.